Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Plugs kibble on TV. Not only, I've heard he's broken into the movies now, too. What? Why did he do that? I'd never leave a job where I get to eat as much kibble as I want all day long. Which reminds me, I'm hungry. I never go anywhere without Kitty Munch kibble. Woohoo! Meow! Meow! Want your Kitty Munch kibble, Sam? Enroll your cat in the national audition to replace our Kitty Munch ambassador, Oscar, and you could win a year's supply of kibble. We could sign up Victoria. Meow, meow. You too, little Sammy. Want to sign up for the Kitty Munch audition? Mm -hmm. You really think he has any chance? Who knows? Looks like he likes the idea. An audition for Kitty Munch kibble? No way, not me. How vulgar. If only it was for Royal Kitty Pate. If you aren't interested in Kibblebick, will you let me win? No. You have no chance, Sam. You are not a real cat. Everyone will see that. Don't listen to her, Sam. You can do it. You've been doing your cat act 24-7 ever since we got here. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. And I'm going to help you. We're going to turn you into advertising's first ever boar cat. Okay? <laughs> Doing here. We're coming with you. We want to get Oscar's autograph. We brought a photo. You ah. This is an ad for kibbles. It's a job for cats, not goats. Meow, meow. Victoria and Sam. Leave them with me. Good, Good luck, luck, honey buns. buns. See, See you later. later. Come along, you two. <laughs> yeah, you see that? Don't worry, Sam. You're the best. <laughs> Are you joking? Nobody is as good as me, whether they're the real deal or phony. Now, is everybody here? Can we stop the improvisations, please? First up, Melody. She's a knockout! No, no, no! Too wishy-washy. Next! Mm. Not bad. He stays. Not bad. I can never do as good Next. as him. Ah, let's get this over with. Wow! She stays for sure. Next! <laughs> no, I don't want to go. I'll never make it. Of course you will. Sam, let your inner cat shine and think of all the kibble waiting for you when you win. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's incredible! Hilarious! We'll take him with Hans and Vic. The rest of you, on your way! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that Oscar's around here somewhere. I can feel it! I'll go take a look through there! Mm -hmm. But the window's open! Let me go! Wait, Susie, stop! For the 
taste test. Take it away. Eat your kibble. I love the fat funny cat. He's our guy. Take five, everybody. Then we roll. Here's the funny cat that won. Where is he? It's you, Sam. You won me, but I'm not fat. But I know I sure am funny. <laughs> this audition is a joke. At least I won't have to waste any more of my precious time. I don't believe it. They can't possibly prefer that bumpkin. He may be a bumpkin, but at least he's not a second-rate ham. You okay, Sam? You need a little uh, refreshment? Well done. Great job. So, who are you then? His coach. I train him. I look after him. But who's ever heard of a dog looking after a cat? Oh, I see you're new to the business. Hang around and you'll get to see a lot of it. Dogs taking care of cats. Here's the living proof. All right, I'll go fetch you something to drink. And if he starts asking questions, whatever you do, don't say a word. <laughs> so you've been acting for a while then. I have rarely met an actor as talented as you. <laughs> Look, Susie, there he is! Oscar! 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 Can I please just take one little second of your precious time? Mr. Oscar? <gasps> Look, Eugenie! Sam? Of course I have. In my dreams. He was riding this giant hot dog bareback. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> we went playing around next door with Hans. He pushed me into a big vat of bubble gum. That guy's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is that? <laughs> <laughs> Go scrub up that fat feline right this minute. We have no time to lose. No way! If they start washing you, they'll find your zipper and blow our cover. Come on, Sam! Quick! Okay, I knew cats didn't like water, but I didn't think they hated it that much. Go, security! Get him back here as fast as you can! Otherwise, we'll have to do with that guy. Hmm. Security, we just lost our new kibble star. Can you do something? Okay, we'll, we'll take, take care, care of it. I told you that you and your pumpkin buddies would never make the grade. Oh, yeah? You sure? Because I don't know if you knew it, but the shoot's been postponed! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! Okay, well, we gotta switch camera. Take five, guys. Quick, take off your costume. <laughs> you supply a kibble up in smoke, and I was the winner. It's not fair. Where did they get to? There you go, clean as a whisker. Now we just have to get it dry. Go on, Sam. Another squeeze and we're done. Sam, wash? Hurry along! If Sam gets back quickly, the roll is still his! A boar? I knew you were just a silly bumpkin! Your days in advertising are over, sunshine! What's going down? It's coming from there! There! A boar with a doll! Stop! Stop! Still no sign of the funny cat? No, security's tied up. They say they're chasing down a wild boar. Shame. Too bad we'll have to care with the other guy. Look, it's him! It must be! It's him! Mr. Oscar, can I please just take one little second of your precious time? <gasps> he smiled at me! <laughs> Will you please sign an autograph for us? Of course. With pleasure. My fans will everything to me. Shoot, I've got nothing to sign with. Follow me, we'll soon change that. They'll send us back to the forest. I'll never get to be a cat again and I'll never get to eat kibble. We're gonna find a solution. Don't worry, nobody will find us here. Sam, what? what are you You have nothing to fear. <laughs> when I start.
started out as an actor, nobody wanted to hire me. Who'd want to work with a badger, I ask you? So to become a star, I decided to disguise myself as a cat. But shh, mom's the word. Security! Anyone in there? Hey, isn't, isn't that, that the fat, fat cat they told us to find? Come on, kitty, kitty cat, you're, you're coming, coming along with, with us. us. Yeah. Hey, wasn't, wasn't that, that the dog, dog who was hanging out, out with, with the boar? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hmm? Hmm. There you go, girls. Oh, thank you, Oscar. Yeah. And cut! That's our boy, awesome! A million times better than that Z-list celebrity. I'll get you back for this! Can someone get rid of this one, please? Contact the space agency. I think they're looking for a cat to test out litter in space. Kitty Munch, the camel with crunch. So, who's the big boar cat superstar in the room? <sighs> We have just learned that a cat has been sent into space to test a new form of clump and seal cat litter. Good luck, little hands. Enjoy the trip, space cat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Ta-da! Fresh clean outfits coming up! <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Breathe in deeply and listen to your inner voice. Hmm, my inner voice. Ah, hey! Oops, missed it. Sorry, Victoria. Spring kibble scent. Hmm. I say this is the good life, wouldn't you? You bet it's the good life. Oh, yeah. We're living the good life. We're living the good life. So who? So who? So who's gonna have a feast? A little sweeties are. A little treats. Oh. Hey, what's going on? Oh, poor little guy. He looks abandoned. Um. <laughs> Aww. We're living together. We're living together. Car. Uh oh, disguises. Hey, did these shrink or what? We're home, little darlings. And now we have a new addition to our family. <laughs> we found him on the street, abandoned. Here is Poppy, your new little friend. Oh, what a cute little thing. Wow, a little brother. <laughs> That's cool. Take good care of him. Poor little cat. <laughs> We're going to get you a bowl of kibble. A huge bowl of kibble. Be careful, Wash. My inner voice tells me that that little puppy is not as cute as he seems. My shackles rose as soon as he came into the room. Poppy? But he's too cute for words. Your inner voice is mistaken, Vic. Hey, puppy kiddo. Let me show you around your new home. <sighs> And there on your left is the softest bed in the entire house. Demonstration. <laughs> hey, you're a little prankster, huh? Cool it, Daddy. There's only room for one dog in this house, and that dog is me. Soon I'll be the master of the entire household. <laughs> uh, is this a joke? <laughs> Stop, guys! Watch out! Poppy! Ferocious pup! What are you talking about? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that is so, so funny, funny Poppy! Poppy. <laughs> 
No, seriously, I mean it. Check out his fangs! Wow! Well, you're right, Clash. That pup has a ferocious appetite. Never seen anything like it. Hey, tummy bump, kid! Wait a sec. This is not what I was trying to say. What Wash was trying to say is that this is not at all what I expected. I thought I'd found a home and some kibble, but in fact, I found friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that little squirt's so annoying. Oh, he is so cute. I told you so. Should have listened to my inner voice. <laughs> 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 And it's gonna stay that way. Guess who's turning up on the street later? The dog pound service. Bye-bye, kid. Oh. Hmm. Are you okay, little puppy? <laughs> I can explain all this. <laughs> Wash said that there was only room for one dog in the house. That's oh. why he wanted to get rid of me. <laughs> huh? You did that, Wash? No! I, I mean, yes! I, I can explain everything! You say you're sorry right now! Promise you'll never ever do that again, or else! <sighs> sorry, Poppy. Won't happen again. Cool! So we can all play together again! Yippee! Yay! Time for me to take care of you. Your friends will soon be obeying Master Poppy! <laughs> Dream on, Squirt. <laughs> Smells like kibble. Oh, that's odd. It's not dinner time yet. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Whoa! Just you wait till Mr. Livingstone sees this! Hey! I don't believe it. Wash! What's all this noise? You again, Wash? Oh, poor Poppy. Come here. Don't get me this time, you little squirt! What's going on now, Wash? <laughs> and you're proud of that? You bad dog! You're punished! You're staying in the doghouse, and you are not allowed to play with your friends until we get home! <sighs> Oh, the poor guy, all by himself. Yeah, and that's thanks to me, you ninnies. Yeah, but let's get into you, Poppy. From now on, it's Master Poppy, Nitwit, and you'd better obey my every word. Otherwise, you're out, like your friend. Sam, do something! Yeah, uh, so you think we're scared of a fluffy little pup like you? Uh, uh, yeah, well, actually we are, but I can be ferocious too. After all, I'm a wild boar. A wild boar? What wild boar? Right here in front of you, Pipsqueak. You, you're not a real cat? No, I'm a wild beast. And not only me, Washington and Susie and Eugenie are wild too. Which means if you don't obey me, I can blow your cover? That's even better! <laughs> Sam has revealed our secret! Now we're done for! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Who does this mini 
miniature Fleabag think he is? Oh, feeling unhappy about something, princess? <laughs> Out of here! Right now! Uh-oh! He threw you out, too? No, he didn't. Sam did. All your buddies are now slaves to Master Poppy. Huh? Well, how is that possible? Sam told him that you are all wild animals. He's got you under his thumb. Oh, Sam, what have you done now? And, uh, how do you intend to get rid of that perverse pup? By revealing his true nature to the Living Stones. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Listen up! That is so cool! You here? How dare you come back into my house! It's time to reveal little Poppy's real face. Yuck! If the Living Stone saw this wild-looking creature... They'd chase it out of the house immediately. <laughs> Now we'll see who the wild beast is! <laughs> Give me back my bunny hat right now! <laughs> oh no! We're done for! Wait a minute, Shorty. I think it's time to have a little chat. You never fail to surprise me. I promise, next time, we'll listen to your inner voice. It's better this way. Poppy will be happy in that home for little puppies who are, uh, traumatized. Hey, what's going on? Oh, poor thing. It must be abandoned. Five is enough! Huh? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's not a game. The Living Stones are getting ready for Auntie Rachel to visit. Auntie Rachel? What's that? Auntie Rachels are a subspecies of humans who are a pain in the rear because they can't stand cats. <laughs> and dogs? Do they like dogs? <laughs> dogs? Seriously, Wash? Does anyone actually like dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Try and hang in there. It's only for a few days. I'm gonna prove to you that everybody loves dogs, Vic. Let the boss man do his shtick. <laughs> this should be a gas. Hey, Wash! Wash! <laughs> ah. Ah. Washing 
Washington. Bad dog, leave Auntie alone. Oh, now who is this splendid little creature? Oh no, my favorite pillow. No way is she going Sit to- Sit down here, my little BB. Ugh, I can't watch this. What a priceless treasure, the spitting image of Apricot. My darling BB when I was a little girl. Well, this one's our Washington. Sugar Auntie. Sugar, sugar, BB. Isn't that yummy little BB? That was a good idea to get rid of that horrible critter you used to have. Boy, did she ever stink. Uh, what critter? Uh, Victoria? Uh, but we still have her, Auntie. In fact, I'll be honest, the family has gotten much bigger. Hey there, darlings. Come say hello to Auntie Rachel. <laughs> You. Get lost, you disgusting creature, you! Show! Show! Ooh, that auntie's off her rocker! So you've got yourself three new stink balls? One wasn't enough? Sam, girls, go into the kitchen. We'll introduce you later, okay? Ta-da! Take a look at Auntie's BB, heavyweight champion of the world! Hey, I want some sugar sugars too! Baby. Ah, Baby. When I hear the word sugar sugar, sorry guys, duty call! No, it's not fair! And all that because he's wearing a BB costume and we're not! Ah, uh, come on, quit sulking! Let's go play hide and go pig! Great idea! But it's Wash's turn to play wolf! Don't worry, we'll go get him! Last one there's a snake! Sure, and it's my turn to play the wolf. Uh, 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 BB! You're not playing with those ugly little stink balls. Shoo, shoo! Out of here! No way is she gonna stop us from playing hide and go pig with Wash. Oh, oh, my, oh, oh, my, oh, oh, my, oh, oh, my, oh, my. Is everything okay, Auntie? Things couldn't be worse. Those stink balls of yours are bothering my baby and me. We're going for a walk. Yeah? Uh, very well. Uh, have a nice walk? Have a nice walk? And where, pray tell, is the stroller? The... the... stroller? Well, of course! You don't think BB's going to walk on all fours, do you? And bring me his coat, too, please. <laughs> Washington? <laughs> you going to a costume party? Because I have never seen such a stuff. Whoa, check out Mommy's darling little doggy. Hey, sweetheart. You want to make some room in your taxi for us? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what a pretty collar. Look at that, BB. <laughs> Poor Washington, he really doesn't look very good. <laughs> yeah, right. Sugar, sugar galore is singing color. Sir Wash is leading the high life. He just doesn't have time to play hide and go pig with his friends anymore. He's got no choice, Sam. If we could only somehow console him. I've got an idea. Just make sure you're ready, okay? I've seen better days. Better? You've got a musical collar, sugar, sugar galore, go for a stroll in a stroller. You're a star, buddy, a star. What more do you want, a mountain of sausages? You just don't understand, Sam. We dreamed of all that, sure, but with Auntie Rachel, it's not a dream, it's a nightmare. I'd rather go back and live in the forest. Hey, cheer up. 
It'll be over soon. Auntie will leave and everything will go back to normal. Red alert! Annie's on a rampage! Oh, what a pet! Yeah. If she thinks for one second she can fool Auntie Rachel, she's the dumbest bird I've ever seen. The first boat out of here tomorrow morning. We? You got it. Bibby and me. I'm certainly not leaving him in this circus with a bunch of thieves and stink balls. Certainly not, Auntie. Washington is part of our family. Very well, then. I'll just have to move in here. I'll have my mail forwarded tomorrow. <laughs> well, actually, you're right. It's going to be hard for us, but we really can't deprive Washington of a dream life with you. Go on. rather go back and live in the forest than with that crazy old bat? I don't believe it. He really left? Oh, poor Wash. We have to go find him. <gasps> We've got to first get rid of Auntie, otherwise Wash will never want to come home. But Auntie will never leave without her BB. If you're interested, I've got an idea. It's not like I really want to see Washington return to the house, but if it might help me get my favorite pillow back. BB has disappeared! Costume. Yeah, well, um, we should have it any minute now. Don't worry, we got everything totally under control. I heard that uh, now they make uh, night kibble for cats. Do you really, really want me to get Wash's costume for you? Washington. We just dropped him like an old sock. We really are bad masters. Whoa. Whoa. Washington? Good dog! You came home. Oh no! But then Auntie's going to come back too! Mm -hmm. Here we are, Pepe! All we've got now is home, Pepe! Pepe! Honey, we got a card from Annie Rachel. Keep wash, she says. She has just adopted an ostrich who reminds her of Cherry, the ostrich she had when she was a little girl. See, Wash, but if she comes back one day. Yes, yeah, Sam, promise. You can still keep the collar. Hmm? <laughs> oh, no! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? 
not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Do you have a fortune at your feet? Yes, sirree, you've got one. Fortune! Huh? Fortune? Thanks to this incredible metal detector, if there's gold, silver, or precious jewelry buried in your garden, this detector will tell you about it in no time at all. Cutting edge technology, three day guarantee single cash payment with extra charge, this magnificent device will change your life. Change my life? Amazing! Everything I've dreamed of! I'll take it! <laughs> what is that incredible machine? Ugh, incredible or not, I don't like the look of it at all. Later, guys! <laughs> The battery for the remote control. It works. We've been looking for that battery for days. That machine is pure genius. I don't know how it works, but it sure looks fun. What in the world is that? A 50 cent coin. This, my dear, is a treasure detector. We are going to be rich. Amazing. Don't tell me you bought that piece of junk from the traveling salesman I saw in the street. But it was a real bargain. I'll go straight out into the yard and prove to you that this is not a piece of junk. A treasure detector. Well, I knew how to detect one thing. The best places in the yard to nap in the afternoon. <laughs> On three we jump. One, two, Hmm. Uh huh? No. Oh, uh -huh. Ah. Uh huh? It's like our yard is sitting on a treasure trove. Yeah. Hmm? Sam, get out of here. Hmm. Looks like there's no way I'm getting a peaceful afternoon nap today. This whole yard is crammed with treasure just waiting to be dug up. Oh, another treasure there! <laughs> Honey! Oh. I told you, our lawn is brimming with treasure. Quick, I need something to dig with. You're on your own here. Aha! See how excited he's become since he's got that treasure hunting gizmo? Incredible! Nah, the true scientist is only too familiar with the thrill of discovery. Yeah, and by some weird coincidence, it detects treasure wherever I decide to take a nap. Yeah. Can you believe that? Wait, you mean to say the detector always beeps wherever you're standing? Mm-hmm. <gasps> that is no reason to be pleased with yourself. If that detector always beeps near you, it must be because of your zipper. My zipper? Yes, think about it. The remote battery, the dime, that detector detects metal! <gasps> and your zipper is metal! Like Eugenie's, like Susie's, and like mine! <gasps> and so obviously it sets the detector off. We're done for. Yeah, you reckon? I know we are. We have no place here. So, what are we gonna do, Wash? I know, while there's still time, oh. we've got to watch TV! We have to stop him digging! <laughs> yeah, but what for? If he discovers there's no treasure beneath where you're sitting, he will realize it was you setting the thing off! No! Right, here we go! Here's pretty good, isn't it? Tiny weird guys with pointy hats to make the toy for us 
And then we wait for the snow so they can deliver it to us? No! We head down the chimney! Ah! Great idea! <laughs> Bring it on! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing there. Hmm. That's impossible. Uh oh! Quick, Sam! Follow me! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cat! If only your zippers were made out of that weird stuff that makes that really loud sound when you pull on it. You mean Velcro. Okay, right? Don't panic. There must be some solution. Let's think. You sure? I'm thinking... thinking, thinking, thinking. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? Sam! <laughs> Water! What's up with him? I only asked him to think. Ouch. Bad idea. Okay, I'm off. I'll leave you to think in peace, huh? You okay, Sam? Mm, Sam and Kibble. Huh? What Kibble? You, oh, no. Why did you wake me up, Wash? I just found a huge bag of Kibble hidden in the yard using the detector. <laughs> there isn't any Kibble in the yard, Sam. It was just a dream. <gasps> Sam, you are a genius! What? We're going to get a kibble detector? No! We're going to hide real treasure in the yard. That way, when Mr. Livingstone finds out, he'll leave us completely alone. Real treasure? Like what? Something very, very precious. Something people have to hide so that nobody finds it. <gasps> I think I have an idea, Wash. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I need to change the batteries. Yeah. Ha! Hey, there you are, Sam. It's all right, he's gone. It's up to us now. Did you bring the treasure? Yeah, look at this. Acorns? What are we supposed to do with acorns? You wanted treasure, and you know this dash of acorns is a true treasure to me. It's taken me many months to collect it. Oh, Sam, we're not in the forest now. Humans don't care for them. They're just acorns, get it? We need real treasure, something shiny, some treasure so incredible, people would do anything to get their hands on it. We know where you can find treasure, real treasure. Duh. It's true, come on, we'll show you where it is. Mm. <laughs> ah! So shiny, like treasure. Ain't that right, Wash? Yeah, but what is it? I don't know, but the girls are right. That's the prettiest treasure I've ever seen. Right, no time to lose. We have to bury it before Mr. Livingstone gets back. <laughs> what are you doing? We're covering our tracks. But not now. First, we have to put the treasure in the hole and then fill the hole back in. Uh -oh. Uh, what? Uh oh. Ah. Ah. What's that bag you're hiding behind your back, Sam? Yeah. You haven't found my treasure, have you? Go on, show me, Sam. Oh, no. Yeah. Sam? Sam, give that to me. You have stolen it from me. Hey, <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Okay, Sam. Huh? Yeah. There they are, my pretty little treasure thieves. Uh, Everything's uh, going to be fine, Sam. Just hand over the bag. Ah, 
Ah, now there's a good boy. Uh, acorns and a cheese grater? Huh? And there's me thinking I found some real treasure. Darling! Mm? Ah, there you are. What's the matter? You were right, honey. I have found nothing but a pile of junk. Oh, wow! This is my Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater! I thought it was lost forever! Thanks! This is the best treasure you could ever find! Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Why was I crying again? Uh, because I wish I was a cat so I can eat kibble all day long and watch TV. Oh, yeah. Because I wish I was a cat so I can eat TVs and watch kibble. Day long, all? Oh, forget it, Sam. With my magic rainbow, I grant you happiness and wonder. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Eugenie. A unicorn. It's a game. We're only pretending I'm Lily the Unicorn. <laughs> Lily the Unicorn. That's totally for babies. Hogwash! Lily the Unicorn is amazing. If you say so. Okay, Sam. Put your costume back on. Let's go outside and play something cool, maybe, huh? <laughs> What's up with you guys? You're doing great. How about yourself? You should watch what you're doing. You nearly squished my face off, and I gotta go perform on Animal Star, you knuckleheads. What's that I hear? Who dares argue in the land of wonder? What on earth is that? Well, you know, the Masters had this unicorn come visit, but she was about to leave. Have you gone out of your mind? What do you think you're playing at? At least I look like a unicorn, right? Get inside and zip up your rabbit costume before the living stones get back from the market. There is no more Eugenie. Now my name is Gigi, the happy unicorn. Okay, let me explain. A unicorn is an imaginary animal, which means that outside the TV, they don't exist. If the living stones discover you like that, you'll blow your cover straight away. And you can say farewell, happiness, and hello to a world of horror back in the forest. Too bad, because I put my rabbit costume in the trash. So from now on, it's unicorn or nothing. We're home. Sam, haul them off in the house. Susie, come with me. <laughs> Susie, keep watch while I get her costume back. On earth did she put it? Alert! Alert! Mr. Livingstone is gonna put the market basket in Gigi's hiding place! Too late! I can't believe it! It's incredible! <laughs> Have you seen this, Sweetie Pies? A unicorn! Isn't it magnificent? Hey, honey! Uh... <sighs> <laughs> oh, 
darling. I found a baby unicorn in the shack in the yard. Isn't it amazing? I've always dreamt of having my own unicorn. And to think you said they didn't exist. Oh, yes, indeed. Have you seen this, sweetie pies? Oh, hey, where's your genie? Uh, she must be having her afternoon nap somewhere. Quick, a selfie. I've got to get it on my hamstergram account. You must be hungry, cutie pie. Gibble all around, my lovely furballs. It's not every day your dream comes true. So, who is it that said farewell happiness and hello world of horror, yada, yada, yada? Not me. And here you can trot around to your heart's content. Hello, Mr. Snobby Nose. Let me introduce my lovely little Marvel. A unicorn? <laughs> How ridiculous. Oh. It's the Animal Star TV show. Hello, yes. Huh? What do you mean? <clears throat> Animal Star canceled Alvarez. They found somebody better on a hamstergram account. Don't you realize what this means? It's an outrage. Which animal could possibly surpass Alvarez? Come on, you know what they say. See a unicorn and feel happy all day. Hi, <clears throat> Animal Star wants a phone interview with you. They even canceled an Afghan Greyhound to talk about your unicorn. <laughs> Sorry, important call to make. Let me leave you with your new friend, Susie. This is amazing! What do you want to do now that you're a unicorn? I want to make everybody happy, duh! And to begin with, with my magic horn and rainbow power, I name you Deputy of Happiness! Yippee! Everything I've dreamed of! Thank you, Gigi! Give me that remote control! Uh-huh! Uh -huh. Hush! With my magic horn and rainbow power, let me make your dearest dream come true! I name you Commander of the Remote Control! Mm. Sounds right. Banana pancakes! Win the holiday of a lifetime! And cream sauce with broccoli and... Sam, don't sulk! You heard what Gigi said! <laughs> with my magic horn and rainbow power, your dearest is granted. May you have all the kibble you can eat. Who do you want to thank? Thank you, Gigi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, clowns, you're not through yet? There are folks trying to sleep around here. There's no need to be so unkind. Kindness is the food of life. Otherwise, it'll cost you one kibble in the naughty box. Mm -hmm. Pop up. <laughs> and what are you going to do next, you? Complaining is forbidden. That'll be two kibble now. But I don't have any. Don't lie to me. I know you stashed them under your pillow. Huh? Now you're up to three, Kibble. <sighs> yes, with my magic horn, I can indeed make you happy. What is your dearest wish? We want to have the same litter box as Vic. Her litter box is the best. They say it smells like cotton candy. I'd like the same neckerchief as Alvarez. He never lets me borrow it. With my magic horn and rainbow power, all of your wishes will be granted. <sighs> Doing? That's my litter box. Don't worry, you can share Sam's litter box. What? No way! That's not nice. One kibble. Oh. Gigi, he wants to steal my hat. It's not a hat, it's my cravat. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Happiness is all about sharing. With my magic horn, I declare that Vincent has the right to wear his neckerchief hat every other day. No complaining. Cough it up. One kibble in the naughty box. Totally but when everything is said and done, I decided to throw my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Say, dumbbells, quit the magic unicorn act, or there's going to be trouble. Boo hoo hoo. We're so afraid. <laughs> <laughs> You know that wild animals are forbidden in this yard. Well, so are imaginary animals, too. Really? See your unicorn? You'd better lock it up indoors right this instant or else. What's all this? Not more arguments. He started it. Ah, ah, ah. Give me your paws. With my magic horn, I offer the ribbon of friendship. Go make peace <laughs> or else. You gotta listen to Gigi. She can make us happy using her magic horn. Ever since she turned up, I've had all the kibble like you need. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. She's watching us quick. Let's be peaceful. But 
That is disgusting. Alvarez, what has happened to your dignity and your cravat? Here I was coming out to post photos of you on Hamstergram. <laughs> How horrific. You leave me no choice, Alvarez. I'm going to have to replace you with a magic animal even more magical than a unicorn. And he will make it onto Animal Star. An animal more magical than a unicorn? Whatever could that be? I intend to steal the horn of that ridiculous unicorn and become magic in her place. I shall make it onto Animal Star and win back my master's love. What is going on here? Uh, a wild animal? I'm calling the dog pound. Uh. Oh. Hello, animal pound. Uh, can't you see the poor little creature is terrorized? She must feel so lost. I shall take her back to the forest myself right this instant. goes, who's gonna give me all the kibble I can eat? Sam, there are worse matters at hand. If you're hungry, eat this. Thanks, Wash. <laughs> Eugenie's costume, she hid it in her magic horn. I'm just taking the baby boar back to the forest. You can help me look for Eugenie when you get home. I'm Eugenie, what are you doing here, beautiful? You haven't seen a baby boar, have you? Huh? He got out through the window? Okay, I guess he must have set off home. Come on, I have to introduce you to our extraordinary new friend. Mm -hmm. Say, where did she go? Phew! I looked everywhere. Nothing. Our unicorn has disappeared. You know, honey, that's the thing with magic animals. They appear and disappear just like that. But when we have such a magnificent crew of fantastic furry friends, who needs unicorns to be happy? No, oh, you're right, honey. So, what are you watching, Lily the Unicorn? Ha! Huh, that's for babies. We're watching Goliath the Dragon. Now that's cool. Okay with the dragon, but no fooling around this time, okay? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. So? I can hear her scratching her litter box. Vic will be out in a second. And Sam? Still nothing. Hmm. Whoa! One minute, 13 seconds! Vic did all her business in one minute, 13 seconds! You are awesome! And I can do even better than that. One time, I stayed in there less than a minute. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Three hours, 45 minutes? He's never stayed so long in his litter box. I can't believe it. Do girls realize that Sam is gonna beat his own world record? So? Oh, three hours, 45 minutes, and 57 seconds. You just beat your record. Way to go, amigo. Yeah, back in the forest, I won the contest to see which wild boar could do the biggest. Hey, darling, it's me. And who's the big package for? <laughs> it's for Sam. Ta-da! Your potty is ready, Sam. With this, you'll be able to use the toilet like a human being. And it will save us from having to empty your litter box several times a day. It will certainly be useful, but do you think Sam will manage? <laughs> of course he will, honey. Sam is very smart. Um, 
amazing, the Las Vegas Electronic Show. Now this is a program for me. Ugh. Sam, what's wrong with you? You have to go to the bathroom. Uh, again? Sam, you just spent exactly three hours, 45 minutes, and 57 seconds in the toilet. It's because of Mr. Livingstone's pet potty. Just thinking about it stresses me out, and when I'm stressed out, I have to go to the bathroom. Go on, Sam. I'm sure it'll work just fine. It's pretty obvious it's not you who has to use the pet potty. It's super complicated. There's a sort of pan where you put your paws just above a hole with water, and I don't understand a thing. Listen, Sam, if it's that bad, go in your old litter box. Then you can just flush the toilet to make the living stones think that you were on the pet body like a good cat and you're home free. Thanks, Wash. You're the best. No, no, no. No more litter box. Now you're going to go to the potty like a big cat. How does this thing work? <laughs> there, you can do your business now, Sam. New technology serving human needs. <sighs> what if just for once they thought of animal needs? <laughs> what? You missed the hole? <laughs> way, way worse. <laughs> I didn't do anything. The living stones watch me to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. But to do that, I had to unzip the back of my costume. And if the living stones see that, they'll discover that I'm not a real cat. Don't worry, Sam. We're going to help you. But do you mind waiting until my show's over? If they're rolling the end credits, okay. Otherwise, I think it'll be too risky. Oh. <laughs> hey, you want to play ball there, Washington? Honey, I'm going outside to play ball with Washington. Wait. What are you doing here, you little rascals? <laughs> oh. Good dog. That's the alarm I installed for Sam. Quick! What? Why did he stop playing? Do you think he did his business? Mm -mm. Don't worry, honey. It's his first time. It's normal. It may take a while. Ah. Sam's not moving. His costume must be open in the rear. I've got an idea. Get yourselves ready to go button up Sam's costume. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> doesn't seem to be getting used to it. I really feel like that pet body is a failure. Perhaps he simply has a shy bladder. Maybe he freezes up when he knows people are watching him go to the bathroom? With this little camera, Sam won't know he's being watched and will be able to verify that he's learning to use the pet potty. I could never forgive myself if it's too hard for him. Why, Mr. Livingstone, you think of everything. Yeah. Can you lend me your litter box, please? I already had to stop a fake dog from doing number one in it. There's certainly no way a fake cat is going to do a number two. Don't worry, Sam. Don't listen. We don't need her. Just do it discreetly in the yard like dogs do. But Wash, I'm a cat. What about feline honor, you know? Sam, must I remind you that you are first and foremost a wild boar? And that is exactly what the Living Stones are going to find out if you don't wake up. It's true. I suppose the yard isn't that bad after all. Thanks, Wash. It works! Voila! Now all we have to do is wait for Sam. <laughs> at least no one will see me up there. You disgusting pig! You know what this reminds me of? 
That sublime French film from the 60s. Oh, come on, honey. You know that film where you broke your nodding off record by falling asleep after only five minutes? Uh, two years ago at Barry and Matt's? Exactly. Except that here, when Sam finally shows up, the film is going to become exciting. Joe, I'm a goner. It's impossible for me to find a quiet place. The yard is even worse than the forest on the first day of the hunting season. There are crowds everywhere. Wait a bit, Sam. When the sun goes down, everyone will leave to I go. I can't hold it in. I'm going to use the pet body and tough luck if the living stones catch me and I have to go back and live in the forest as the wild boar that I really am. Farewell, dogs, cats, canaries, and beloved TV. We can't leave him like this. Wash, you gotta do something. Of course. Listen, we're gonna dig a secret bathroom under the sofa for Sam and build a sewage system that will connect to the elf's bathroom. Then we'll activate the toilet flush by tinkering around with the remote control Wouldn't after it be having- a whole lot easier to just turn off the camera in the bathroom? Uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> That's what I was getting at. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. I've got no choice. Ouch! Nick, I'm begging you. Your litter box is the only place I can do my business without the camera seeing me. If you agree, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll offer you my treasure chest of chestnuts. That's sweet of you, Sam. But it's a no. Hmm. Nick, wait a minute. I got something for you. No means no! What in the world is he doing? How about we go watch TV instead? Besides, we'll get a warning when Sam climbs onto the pet potty. You left the alarm on, didn't you? Absolutely. <laughs> but, but where's Sam? If he's not here, that means he didn't climb onto the pet potty. So we still have a chance to save him by turning off the camera before he comes back. Uh, how do you turn this thing off? No idea. Hold on, I'm coming. What if I let you choose the TV programs for a week? Nope. Meant? Uh, no. What about forever? Uh, okay, it's a deal. You can use my litter box, but just this once. <laughs> what in the world are you doing? Stop that right now, it's dangerous. You've got it all wrong, Vic. What's dangerous for Sam is that camera pointed at the pet potty. It... <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, new technology is not only here to serve humans, but also animals. And to prove it, here is a self-cleaning litter box, oh. which not only allows happy cat owners everywhere to stop cleaning out litter boxes, but it can also be delivered in one minute flat anywhere in the world. Wow, exactly what we need for Sam. But why? Sam is going to master the pet potty, honey. I'm 100% sure of it. Why, it's just a question of minutes. Right, honey. A self-cleaning litter box delivered in a minute sounds like a pretty good idea. <laughs> Come on, honey. Let's give Sam some privacy this time. <laughs> With all the excitement around here, the Livingstones didn't even think to fix my broken litter box. I'm the one who should have gotten the self-cleaning box. Why don't you ask Sam? I'm sure he'll let you use it. So I can die asphyxiated? No, thank you very much. Anybody knew how to get out of this thing? Oh, rat! Sam is stuck! How do we open this thing? Let the pro handle this. High tech is my middle name. Oops. Maybe that wasn't the right button. <laughs> ah! Ah! Whoa! This is the best invention of all time! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But 
to stay here? We'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. Come on, bunch of scaredy cats. The coast is clear. There's nothing to worry about. Something feels off, Wash. Come on, I didn't inflate the pool for nothing. Well, I'm going in. Well, if you want your costumes back, you're gonna have to get your paws wet. I think he's adapting a little too easily to domestic life. Ah! Come on, jump and swim, bunch of chickens. With this heat wave, even the guys from the Animal Pounder at the beach today. You were saying about the pound guys? Yeah, right. Well, we all make mistakes. And besides, for you, it's just a misunderstanding. They'll quickly find out you're a cat. Meow. Maybe we should have left the cats. Are you nuts? An alley cat that hangs out with animals like that? Why, well, he's probably wild too. And dangerous. <gasps> They were nothing but a bunch of wild animals! We're goners! You, yes, but me, no. I can always get readopted. All I have to do is wait for the first hikers to show up while I quietly nap in a pretty, calm little spot in the sun. A pretty and calm little spot in the sun? <laughs> we're not going there on a picnic, Vic. Do you want me to tell you what life in the forest is really like? I am sick and tired of you hanging around the foxhole all day. <laughs> Go out and play with a pack your age. <sighs> so, it looks like you've been thrown out again, Wash. <laughs> Not at all. What do you mean? I just like being outside where the weather is fine. <laughs> yeah, right. But it's raining now. Oh, look, over there. A ray of sunshine. <clears throat> My secret cave, the only good thing I had going for me. The only place in the forest where I felt protected and could dream of a better life. Mm. If only they made meat-flavored berries, then I wouldn't have to hunt anymore and all the animals could live happily in peace. Hey, Wash. Got anything to eat? Cause I'm hungry! <laughs> Oh, no, not that. Well, then I guess you better go get me something to eat. Now! <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what you're forgetting is that I'm a cat, and I can climb up a tree where nobody will be able to bother me. Are you hmm? crazy? Even way up high in the forest is super dangerous. <laughs> Too bad. Until a hiker comes along, I'll just adapt. As long as I keep my stomach full. <laughs> <laughs> Finding food is also going to be a hassle? <laughs> Nothing left to munch on. The new genie still hasn't come back yet. Good thing you're here to lift my spirits. Your beauty, your calm, your smile. It's me! <laughs> An enormous boar grabbed it from under my nose! An alpha boar! There was nothing I could do! Yep, survival of the fittest forever and ever. Yeah, well, I'm going to have the fittest eating out of my paw. With my charisma, I'll charm them all. That's the last thing you want to do. I tried it once and... Can I play with you guys? My brother went off to find something to eat and I'm bored all alone. Don't you have anyone your age to play with? No, I'm all alone. Come on, please. No way. Right. <laughs> ah! 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 And it's a go. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. 
That's not how it happened. <sighs> Phew, you had me scared. For a moment I thought that... Yeah, well, okay, I admit I left out a bit. The truth is that right when I was almost about to escape... <laughs> That's better. I prefer the whole truth. Being precise is important, Eugenie. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Vic. It was all a big joke. Hey, everything okay, Vic? <laughs> we may have laid it on a bit heavy there. Why don't we tell her about something good that happened to us in the forest? Like what? Nothing good ever happened. Oh, I knew. How about the time we met? That's right. But uh, it was super hot that day. <sighs> Hey! In here! Thanks! If it hadn't been for you, we would have wound up stewed! Those humans are all crazy! Let's cut down the last one and we're off! Over here! Mm -hmm. Thanks! My name is Susie! I'm Eugenie, and he's my brother Sam. And he's, um, he's... Washington, this is my secret cave, and you're all welcome here anytime. Other than Mitch, who occasionally stops by, no one will ever find us here. Mm -hmm. Uh, no one ever? You sure? Boy, I hope we don't find ourselves nose to nose with any wild animals. <laughs> Wow, that funny-looking animal lives peacefully with humans. I'll go ask him. Hey, little bunny beetle! Oh. <laughs> Susie! <laughs> Come on, Vic honey. Nap time's over. Metal monsters everywhere! Blockheads. Maybe those humans have taken the bunny beaver prisoner. We have to help him escape. Whoa, hang on there. Who are you? I'm neither a bunny nor a beaver, and even less a bunny beaver. My name is Victoria, and I'm a cat. In fact, I am a domesticated cat. What does domesticated mean? Are you guys from outer space or what? Domesticated means I live with humans. I'm a pet, and they are my humans. And this is a car, a machine to get you from one place to another. <laughs> yeah, and what's the that? <sighs> Relax. These are just moving pictures. It's called a movie. You love them, you coddle them, you want the absolute best for your faithful companions? Well then give them K Goody Kibble. Whoa! Nah, <laughs> you won't see me falling for that stuff. You can tell the whole thing's been made up. And yet, that's my life to a T. And the life of all other household pets in the city. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember. What a marvelous film. It was the feature version of Sentimental Hospital. My favorite series. <laughs> <laughs> Please, please tell me you've got a plan for getting us out of here. Rush, please, please tell me you've got a plan for getting us out of here. Vic, we're going home. Wait a sec. Take us with you. We want the same life. <laughs> That's the best one yet. It's my life, and I don't share. <laughs> what do we do now, Wash? We're going to try our luck. really should repair this road. I think we've got a flat tire. <gasps> Wait! I know how we're gonna get out of here. The truck has to hit a big pothole on the road like the Living Stones did. Pothole at 10 o'clock! Oh, Rats is on the other side of the road! Well, then we'll throw the truck off course. At the count of three, everyone jump to my side. Seven, 12, and three. <laughs> ah, 
thirsty. Smoothie time! Smoothie, smoothie, smoothie! smoothie. Susie, quick, grab the keys and open the back door. And we're off to our secret forest hideout. Where no hiker has ever stepped foot. Aren't you hungry? I could eat anything right now. A fox, a wild boar. And why not a cat while you're at it? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. No reason to panic. Let's analyze the situation calmly. Susie has managed to escape. The two guys in the front seat are crooks, and we're headed for their hideaway. In the worst part of the forest where they might decide to grill us like hot dogs and eat us for dinner? No, I can't see any reason to panic. How about in that bag there? Sure there's nothing to eat? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't eat that if I were you. It smells so bad, you'd probably die of indigestion. Our costumes! They're here! We're saved! Yippee! Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yippee? And how, Mr. Einstein, do you plan on getting them? She's right, Sam. As long as we're locked up in here, we're still goners. <sighs> Farewell, my beloved city. I will never forget the first time I stepped onto your beautiful asphalt streets. Yeah. Back then, we didn't know anything, did we? Why, we even thought the Living Stones would adopt us without our costumes. You guys remember? Whoa! Now that's a foxhole from heaven. Don't you think that Vic's fur has been lackluster recently? Hmm. I've noticed that too. I think she must be lonely. It's not easy being an only cat, you know. We should maybe think of adopting some other pet friends for her. Dinner time, Vic! And then we'll go outside and enjoy the sun! This cave is enormous! Wow, do you smell that? I don't know what it is, but it's really appetizing! Feeling a little bit less lonely? A little less only child? Huh? Are you nuts? And who told you you could eat my kibble anyway? Kibble? You mean like in the commercial at the movies? So it was all true? Wash, mm -hmm. come check it out. There's tons more to eat. Woohoo! Down we go! I'm warning you. If at the count of three you're not out of here, things are down. <laughs> Good one, Sam! <laughs> there! And never set a paw in here again. Promise. Swear! Promise! What's this? Mm -hmm. Wow! Movie's right at home. That was the day we discovered paradise! Uh, it wasn't paradise right away. Yeah, more like a living nightmare, I'd say. <laughs> You promised me you'd leave! So what? We're allowed to change our minds, aren't we? But... but your word is worthless, then! You're nothing but a bunch of savages! Not really. Instead, you should look at this as a favor we're doing for you to help you fight off loneliness. And to help you get luster back into your fur! Uh, 
What are you talking about? What in the world ever happened to the Rose Chicken? My friends, the moment has come to put on our most winningest smiles. <gasps> ah! Wild animals! Hello, hello, is this the Animal Pound? There are four of them with bangs and tons of hair and claws and... Just come quick, okay? This is certainly the first time in history we've ever scared human beings. <laughs> City Hunters, run for your life! in the forest. We're being hunted. So what do we do? It's so weird. Animals are treated like kings in the city. Yeah, but they're all city animals. And we're wild animals. And they'll always think we're wild. There's nothing left to do but go back to the forest. Hey, look, a fox cub. That's proof that wild animals from the forest can also be adopted, no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'll have you know it was thanks to me that we found out what it was. <laughs> hey, little cop! Don't be so discreet. Go for it. Oh. Yeah. It's not even real. It's fake fur. Check it out. Fake fur? Hey, that's exactly what we need to pass ourselves off as city animals. Look. Let's grab some! You see, Wash? You may have seen the fox cub first, but I was the one who found the costume! Yeah, well, finding a store is a cinch. Getting the costumes out of it is something else. No humans in sight. Everyone into the fake fur and tail cave. On the double! The cave is packed with humans. Look, over there! Nah, too wild. Too weird. Awesome! <gasps> nah, we can do better. that all of the city animals have owners, like Victoria. With these costumes, we've got every chance in the world with the Living Stones. You can't be serious. Even disguised as household pets, the answer is no. Luckily, just after that, the Living Stones opened the door again and adopted us. And that was thanks to me, because I'm too cute. Not at all. It was thanks to my super adorable Purry. Knock off your nonsense. It was especially when they saw what a super brilliant dog I was. Only in your dreams, guys. If they adopted you, it was 100% thanks to me. Say, Say what? what? I never told you this, but... Oh, my poor little Vic. Why, look, even her whiskers are falling out. Her loneliness is dragging her down. You know what I think? Nugget and Fluffy are all alone this summer. The neighbors are leaving and asked me if we could look after them. Oh, what a great idea. We have tons of room, and it'll do Vic a world of good. You, Vic, we're going to become the best friends in the whole world. As long as there are going to be parasites in this house, I'm going to do the choosing. Hey, what's going on? She's acting like she wants to go out, which certainly isn't like her at all. Oh, look! They are just adorable! Don't you think so, honey? Why do I get the feeling there will soon be seven of us in this house? <laughs> You seriously did that for us? Yeah, well, I especially did it for me. 
Nugget and Fluffy are such total twits. I'll explain to the neighbors that we can't keep their cats this summer. <laughs> oh, we get our place in line stolen by a bunch of animals who look like they just walked out of the forest. Not all of them. Check out the dog. He's like too cute. Oh. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Boy, am I ever starving. Hey, we hijacked an animal pound truck. Give me the key. Maybe there are some captured animals in the back. What would you say to some cat kebab? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Vic. After all you did for us, we would never let you down. Look at that. Dinner is served. <laughs> The police! Hey! Her costumes! It's not the police, it's the Living Stones! We were saved! Woohoo! But how did they find us? Oh, because of my collar! It's got a GPS tracking device so I can be found. All real household pets have one these days. Uh, yeah! But red alert, guys, because we don't have our costumes. And without our costumes, the Living Stones will never take us back. Yeah. What do you expect, guys? All good things come to an end. Hey, I'll send you a postcard. Hey! Psst. Susie! Susie! <laughs> An animal pound truck abandoned out here? Well, my GPS reading indicates that Victoria's inside it. Let's just hope they're all in there together. <laughs> <laughs> And to think that I was just seconds from being all alone with the Living Stones. My dream has been shattered. The TV! Your kibble! The sofa! Huh? You're gonna have to squeeze in and find some room, darlings. Since we were so sad at having lost you, we agreed to keep Nugget and Fluffy for the entire summer. Aww. It's so... <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Thanks, Washington. Well done. Good dog. Here you go, a little reward. Bring me up my newspaper, will you? You'll find me in my bedroom. You dogs are so pathetic. All those disgusting chores to chew on some old shoe. No way. It's delicious. And what's more, it's great for the teeth. <gasps> Good little doggy, who does everything Daddy tells him to. Got a problem, Vic? You're not jealous by any chance. Are you joking? See us cats, Wash? We don't have to go bootlicking humans for love and appreciation. All we have to do is be ourselves. Beautiful, agile, gracious. Everything a dog is not. <laughs> Baloney! Dogs are a match for cats in every department. Yeah? So if that's true, can you, for example, explain to me why dogs can't climb trees, whereas cats can? Oh, yes, we can. It's just we have better things to do. I'll go climbing trees whenever you want, Vic. Yeah? Really? The first to grab the ribbon is the winner. But warning, if you fall, then... Elimination. Basically, if Wash falls, he loses. On your marks, get set! Looks like I've got time for a little cat nap. <sighs> Poor little Washington. Need a helping tail? Go on, grab hold. You're breaking my little heart. 
Hang on tight. Washington! 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 As a cat, I will say that I am very disappointed with your performance, Victoria. But speaking as Wash's best friend, I am pleased with the result. Way to go, Wash. You won, boy. Yay! Washington! Washington! So, Vic, ready to pay the price for defeat? Yay! Don't even think of it. Oh, look at Daddy's cute little dog. <laughs> Take this off. <gasps> you, sweetie pie. Yes! Hey, Wash, not coming to say hi? What's he doing lying on Victoria's armchair? Come on, Wash, get up. Come say hi. Washington? Washington? Uh, what? How weird. See that, honey? Wash doesn't look like himself today. It looks like his head has gone flat. No, he's lost weight. Look, his skin is hanging off his bones. Okay, honey pie, double ration of kibble for you today. <laughs> Dog kibble, it's disgusting. Washington, you gotta eat. Go on. <laughs> Go on, little doggy, eat him up. <laughs> Yet. Wash got himself a double ration of kibble and we didn't. It isn't funny. But it isn't Wash. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Okay, time for some exercise, Washington. That'll soon perk you up. It's weird. It's like Wash's costume has grown too big for him. It's because it isn't Wash, Sam. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Oh, yeah! Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Uh, hang on. Wash wearing... No. Who's it again? Go on, Washington. Catch! <laughs> Your reflexes are rusty, Washington. You're beginning to worry me. Luckily, I have a nice, juicy, vitamin-enriched bone for you. You should see her, Wash. Vic is hopeless at playing the dog. Uh, what? It has to stop right this minute. I've spent two years training to create the perfect dog act, and Victoria's ruining it all in one afternoon. If she carries on like that, the Living Stones are gonna kick me out. Uh, you or Vic? Uh, me. Vic, I mean, Vic, and then me. Yeah. If they throw Vic out wearing my dog costume, even if I do get it back, the Living Stones will never let me in the house again, Sam. <laughs> Vic, give me my costume back. Like I wanted to keep it. You could have watched out. You nearly ruined all my efforts at passing as the perfect pooch. Let it be a lesson to you. I didn't ask to wear your crummy costume. Hey, and another thing. Are you ready to fess up that cats are better than dogs? <laughs> Not on your life, Vic. Okay, if that's the way it is, I'm keeping it. And don't expect me to play the perfect pooch. I am hopeless at dog stuff. The worst around. Wash, mm -hmm. Washington! My slippers! <laughs> Washington! My slippers! Sam, go tell Vic right this minute that I admit cats are better than dogs. And make her give me my costume back, please. Wash, you bad dog. Don't ever do that again. Otherwise, you're in for trouble. No, give me that, Washington. You've been a bad dog. You don't have a right to your... Washington, calm down! Stay there and don't move. It's punishment time for you, you naughty dog. Come on, girls. We're going to leave Washington on his own. He has to calm down. He's being punished. Wash, no, I mean, Wash told me to tell you that uh, that cats, uh, no, the dogs are better than cats. What? 
dogs are better than cats. If it's war Wash wants, he's gonna get it. Ah, peace and tranquility. It looks like Washington has finally calmed down. <laughs> Have you gone crazy? Who did that? Own up right this minute, or... Uh-oh! Uh Things are getting way out of hand! We better go warn Wash! What about my costume? Is she gonna give it back? Yeah, I don't know. They cut it off into the yard, and Mr. Livingstone said you're punished and you have to stay on your own in the kitchen. You gotta stop bugging Vic. She's really mad. There's gonna be trouble. Huh? What? What kind of trouble? Ah! Washington, please calm down! Ah! What did you say to Victoria to wind her up like that? Exactly what you told me to say. The dogs are better than cats. Huh? Uh, no, that wasn't it. <clears throat> you naughty, naughty dog, Washington. Go to bed this instant. I shall decide what punishment you deserve. What's going on, honey? I don't know what's got into Washington. He's behaving dreadfully. Uh-oh! We better get your costume back and back! I have an idea! Try to tell the Living Stones that Victoria has disappeared. That way, she'll be forced to show herself without my costume and we'll be able to... Meow. Meow. Oh, Victoria! You are so sweet. Not like bad, bad Washington. Imagine if Wash attacked Vic or one of our other lovable sweetie pies. He's already attacked a postman. What if the next time he bites? I hate to say this, but for the safety of all of us, we must call the Animal Pound, honey. It's our duty. No! This is the end! Wait! What if Washington is sick? Maybe that's why he's behaving like this. You're right, honey. I'll call the vet this instant. You have called Madame Your Vet of this veterinary clinic. I'm obviously really busy right now. So don't call back until you've forgotten your problem. Let's go for a little walk to clear our minds, honey. We'll give him a call when we get back. Vic, where did you put my costume? So tell me, are cats? Yes, cats are better than dogs. But for Pete's sake, give me back my costume. If I don't get to play the perfect pooch when they get home, I'm done for. Seeing as you're such a good little doggy, you should be able to find your costume all on your lonesome. With your legendary sense of smell. No, 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 no! Why don't you use your nose, like Vic said? Because I'm not a real dog, Eugenie. You smell them. <clears throat> they stink of cheesy feet. You can't smell anything else? Sure. In the background, there's something that smells good, a kind of perfume. That's Vic's aroma. She left her scent on the slippers when she ripped him apart. All you have to do is track down her odor. Visit everywhere she went, and eventually you're sure to find wherever she hid your costume. How do you know all that? You've never been a dog before. No, but in the forest, guys always kept stealing my acorns. So I had to learn to use my snout to find them. I found it. Vic hid my costume in the kibble. I can smell it. Where is it? Don't panic, it happens. It's what you call a false leap. Keep looking, there must be another trail. Going around in circles, are we? You cheat! As mock dogs go, I confess, I'm impressed with you. How about we make peace? How about we say a fox in dog disguise is equal to a cat? Like that idea? <laughs> Look, honey, it looks like Wash is feeling better. Maybe we don't need to call the vet after all. Of course! It must be those vitamin-enriched bones that made him crazy like that. He must be allergic to them. I'll throw them away. It's silly, I know, but I think I finally developed a taste for them. <sighs> what? Only fools never change their minds, no? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Coming! <laughs> I 
was just feeding our lovable little furballs. Hey! My lucky coat! <laughs> you weren't thinking of... But honey, it went out of fashion 50 years ago. So, it's a collector's item. My dad gave it to me. He wore it at Woodstock, the legendary 60s festival. Don't you realize? It's staying here. See you later, sweetie pies. Be good. Are you crazy? She's asleep. Don't wake her up. You know what she's like. Hey, Dick, can you loan me your kibble? Of course, Sam. A cat's got to share everything. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Alvarez's fur. Make me for Alvarez Jellyfish Dominoes! <laughs> Excellent! Hey, Sam, go on, tell us what His Majesty has on his mind. <laughs> what a disgusting stink! Do you have anything to wash your mouth under his my bitten fur? Okay, I hope the clown show's nearly finished. Since when does a cat dare to give orders to his majesty, King Alvarez? I don't believe it. Whenever they dig out a new costume, they have to do something dumber than before. <laughs> Psst, you can't stay here. Alvarez isn't a furry funk. He got out of the wrong side of his dog bed this morning. Sure. So I advise him to come nowhere near me because I have an unfinished catnap to complete. <sighs> whoa, whoa. Ah! What is a cat doing on my turf? I marked this tree this morning. Get out of here. Yeah? Well, I hope that someday you turn into a cat. Then you'll find out just what it's like having to constantly deal with goofballs like you. My kibble? I don't believe it! Sam! The only kibble I need are doggy delights because I'm worth it! Sam? Cousin of Sam? Say, if Alvarez catches you here, you'll be in deep trouble. You better skedaddle. Mm. Uh, what are the... Are you crazy? You'd better get out of here quick. This is Alvarez's turf. That's right, and I am Alvarez. No, it ain't you. What? Of course it's me. So can you tell me Alvarez's true name? Uh, uh, uh. Elmo. <laughs> Satisfied now? Of course! Ho ho ho! Get out, you foul beast! <laughs> oh, it's the curse of Victoria! The day of reckoning has arrived! A cat? A cat? They've all gone screwy in that yard. <laughs> I don't, I don't believe it. It isn't me. Sure it is. It is you. It's all because of the curse of Victoria. She transformed you into a cat. <laughs> but that is ridiculous. Yeah, well, if I were you, I would go ask her to forgive me and lift the curse. Otherwise, you'll never be a dog again. Ask for a cat's forgiveness? But... No dog has ever stooped so low. So, everything's fine. You're a cat now. <laughs> Alvarez! 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 Okay, girls, that's enough. The Living Stones will be home soon. Sam, put your costume back on. Phew! I don't know how Alvarez does it. It's so hot in here. Ooh! <laughs> I am the fairy phantom from the attic! Yay! My costume! Where's it gone? Sam, how many times have I told you to be careful? Girls, come help us find it. Hey, guys. Yeah. What happened to your 
legendary sense of humor. Vic, uh, you haven't seen Sam's costume, have you? Sam's costume? Uh, no. Why? Hmm? Oh, no! The Living Stones! You sure? Since when did they knock to come home? Good point. Washington, it's me, Alvarez. Alvarez? Yes, I've got to talk to Victoria. It's urgent. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Huh? That wasn't Alvarez after all. No, it looked like a cat, and I'm sure I've already seen him someplace before. <laughs> Vic, you stole Sam's costume and put it on Alvarez. That's it, huh? <laughs> that was fantastic! You should have seen your faces! Well done, Vic. Without his costume, Sam will have to go back and live in the forest, and us too! And you know what it's like living in the forest? You know what it's like! Okay, okay, it was a joke. We'll go get your costume back. Okay, Sam, you're gonna hide here while we retrieve your costume and put this furry thing back on. If the Living Stones catch you before we get back, they better not find a wild boar in the house. But Wash, wearing that thing gets really hot. Wash? <laughs> the vet! He must know how to put an end to this curse! It's us. We'll start barking, too. It's too dangerous. We've got to call up the professionals. Hello, animal pal. Cooper is a big enough pain in the neck when he's around, but he's even more annoying when you have to go look for him. Quick, we gotta catch Alvarez before the pound guy, or Sam's costume will be lost forever! <laughs> we don't have that choice. We must get Sam's costume back, whatever it takes! <laughs> We definitely saw that weirdo cat charge down this alley. There was a bunch of other animals on his tail. Where did they get to? We're barking up the wrong tree. There's no cat here. Let's move on out. Holy kibble, that was a close call. Oh, that for that knucklehead Alvarez. Say, where did he get to? <laughs> Cursed beast! Are you willing to ask forgiveness and grovel at my paw so that I may lift this terrible curse? I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I'll never torment a cat again. I promise. That is better. Now, open your ears. I shall release you from your curse using my magic incantation. <laughs> well, the lucky guys. At least it's cold where they are. What I wouldn't give to be in their shoes. <laughs> Hello, honey pies. We're home. Okay, this magic spell number is truly hilarious, but uh, just what is your plan to get Sam's costume off Alvarez's back without him noticing? No idea. You're Mr. Wise Guy around here. You must have some idea, huh? Me? No way! Wash! Maybe I do. Is that it? Have I become a dog again? Silence! Okay, are you done yet? No need to take me for some bozo. Your magic baloney isn't working. Of course they do. The spells will summon your spirit clone. And this demon will help you find your true exterior. Open your eyes. Your clone is upon us. <laughs> <laughs> Is that me? I I don't believe it. It's me, but I, me too, and we're both of us here. Awesome! awesome. It's my costume. Oh, with this seat, I was ready to set sail for the ice and snow. Know much about penguins? They're cool. All I do know about penguins is that penguins didn't charge miles around town to get your costume back, Sam. So zip it up quick before Alvarez wakes up. <laughs> How about we 
we put it in the kitchen? Ugh, hang on a minute, dear. Just let me get out of my coat. Wow! See that, Sam? Dead ringer for Fluffy. Too right! Sam! <laughs> hey, honey, have you tidied away my lucky coat somewhere? <laughs> wow, what a crazy adventure that curse episode was. Huh? Well, I never. Alvarez's coat. My coat? Uh -huh. What coat? Alvarez, you've turned back into a dog. Obviously, a dog is for life. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We'll be back tomorrow. Don't get up to anything naughty. Yeah. Look how cute they are. Whatever could go wrong. Yeah. A whole weekend alone! Awesome! <laughs> this is gonna be the longest weekend of the year. Yeah, we can sit in front of the TV and eat everything we want. And above all, we can totally hang loose. <laughs> Straight from the forest floor! Really? Maybe it's time to clean our outfits. You sure, Wash? Remember last time, it didn't go well at all. Yep, but this time, I found the instructions. So everything's gonna be hunky-dory. Phew! It's easy, you'll see. Any fox cub could do it. I can't wait to see this. With you around, generally the word easy means catastrophe. There we go. Now, I just have to press this little boy. <laughs> awesome. I know how low you guys can sink, but this time, you've really excelled yourself, Wash. You don't believe it. What am I gonna do with this? Hmm, you could play dolls. I don't understand what happened. That machine is completely nuts. The Living Stones have to get a new one. All we can do now is um, order new costumes. <laughs> nice try, Susie. I don't like to be the one to tell you, but dogs don't bark like that. Believe me, it takes years of experience like I've had to pull it off right. wouldn't have missed this for the world. And it's so much more fun than being a bird disguised as a bird. Order placed. Our new costumes arrive tomorrow. Until then, we can just take it easy and enjoy a TV marathon! I'm done with dance routines. Let's see what else there is. We are very honored today to have Professor Jones in the studio, the well-known hunter and collector of rare species and unusual specimens. His museum contains wonders of the animal world, many unfamiliar to man. Wow! 
So, Professor, what do you make of this footage of a small flying dog that has gone viral on social media? Is it a hoax or is it a genuine scientific discovery? I'm not quite sure. But what we do know is that evidence of this legendary creature's existence can be found in many sources. Sometimes it plays a role of messenger to the heavens, but in later writings it appears as a retriever of sacred flying discs and as an archivist of bones. <laughs> Joking aside, if the creature does exist, you can be sure I shall track it down and you'll have all the answers you need. Everybody saw it! And now there's a unicorn hunter who's coming to get you! Yeah, you're sure to be a big hit in his unusual specimen gallery. Okay, let's not go overboard. He'll never be able to track us down. You reckon, Washington? Then what is that outside? <laughs> he would have recognized the house from the video. He's good. I don't want to be stuffed. Quick, you gotta get that costume off, Susie. Why? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hands off! I don't want to take off my new costume. I want to stay being a dog. <laughs> Just when I thought you can sink any lower. You're on your own here, guys. Uh-oh, uh sounds like it's coming from the garden. For cover! Yeah. Hmm. The owners must have gone away for the weekend. Good. I can set up my equipment. Hmm. Atrocious craftsmanship. That fox has a ridiculous face. And such coarse fur. Well, anyway, I have a job to do. Time to get moving, old fellow. Huh? What do you mean I have coarse fur and a ridiculous face? What are we going to do? He's gonna come back. We can't stay in the house. You're right, Eugenie. We have to get outside. We'll go hide in the garden shack. <laughs> when he notices there's nobody in the house, he'll leave. In the meantime, we have to get that costume off again. <laughs> Never forget Susie! And we forgot to have dinner! I'm starving! Totally, totally starving! Oh, I'll never be able to hold out! Well, we don't have much choice. We have to get back inside that house and find Susie before Professor Jones does. Infrared check. Movement sensors check. Gamma rays check. Garden and house traps check. Hmm, that flying dog will never escape my clutches. Nobody move! Jones thinks he's clever, but little does he know he's dealing with an expert in cutting-edge laser technology. <laughs> Smooth move, expert! Movement detected. Run! Take cover! <laughs> Sam! Come back! <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna skip a meal! Dog is mine! Hi, oh my! Sam has fallen asleep in his kibble bowl! Again! Let's go! We're the only ones who can save them now! Hey! Susie! Target defined. House cat. A vulgar house cat? <laughs> time to pull out the heavy artillery. This time you won't get away. No dog can resist this. Not even a flying dog. Calm down, girls. We still have to get rid of Professor Jo- uh, You'll see if I'm a real dog or not, Water! Uh, Susie, come back! There must be a trap! <laughs> no! Susie! <laughs> At last! 
Soon this flying dog will be stuffed and exhibited in my museum. <laughs> what are we gonna do to save Susie? And where Sam disappeared to? <sighs> Must have died and gone to heaven. <laughs> what? What on earth? Are you sure this is really necessary? Incredible! I've hit the jackpot. What fantastic specimens! They must be mine. Use this diversion tactic to release Susie from the truck. I'll go look for Sam indoors. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, it's me! Quick, we gotta reach Susie and Eugenie before Jones arrives! Phew! Huh? Susie! So, do you wanna stop being a rabbit, Eugenie? Oh, how does this thing open? How about this one? What on earth is going on? Oops! Okay, that's enough flying dogs for one day. Phew! Right, let's get out of here. What? <laughs> a fox, two balls, and a blackbird? I've never seen anything so mundane. <laughs> All that effort for nothing. A uh -huh. flying snake has been detected in the southern region of... A dragon! Shoot! <laughs> How dare he call us mundane? Here we go! Our new costumes have arrived! Uh, oh. uh, maybe I got the sizes wrong. I don't believe it! You see that? It fits like a glove! I've always dreamed of being a bird! I can fly! I never thought you guys could sink quite so low, but looks like I got it wrong again. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. My boss is coming to dinner, and I want to see no one in the living room. Come on. Hut, hut. Everybody out. Boy, how annoying. Just when we were about to find out the identity of the guy behind the horse mask. And there's nothing to do outside. Inside is so much better. Say, life in the forest must have been a nightmare without TV. That's not true. We never got bored in the forest. We played tons of games. Yeah. How about we play Guess the Snout? This game is far too easy for a fox. I'm going to obliterate you. <laughs> a cinch. Gotcha, Sam. Well, you were saying, Washington? No, I wasn't ready. Let's start over. Yeah, too right. And anyway, he keeps walking off. Whoa! Watch out for the road! <laughs> <laughs> Alvarez? Is that you? Alvy! Mmm, it's soft, kind of sticky. This nose has got to belong to... Victoria! Maybe we should play something else. Why? What's the problem? Let's just say, Space and you don't seem to go together. Let's just say, you're hopeless. If that's the way it is, I quit playing. I'm going inside. So there, and besides, I want to find out who this horse guy is. Mm -hmm. uh, the house is the other way! 
Isn't that incredible? That dog crossed the whole country to get back home to its owners. Like everyone knows, the dog's sense of direction is second to none. Isn't that right, Washington? <laughs> A dog could never replace my GPS. Don't listen, boy. Your instincts will always be technology, hands down. <laughs> With my navigation assistant, I simply enter a destination and zip! I'm guided straight there, no ifs, no buts. I'd be very surprised a dog can do the same, unless Washington is an expert in map reading. <laughs> my dog is a million times better than your dumb GPS. Oh, it depends on what you're looking for. Sometimes dogs are better, but sometimes nothing beats a GPS. I say get them both and you'll be happy. <laughs> At lunch, we'll have a race. Washington against your GPS. That way, we'll find out. <laughs> no brainer. I'm counting on you, big fella. Whoa! At least there's someone here who recognizes my talents. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really know what you're letting yourself in for? You have absolutely zero sense of direction. And if the boss wins, Mr. Livingstone is going to be very, very disappointed. And then he'll start wondering if his dog is really a dog after all. Maybe I overestimated my abilities. If you'll excuse me, I'd rather not watch this. Farewell, friends. Deep down, I loved you dearly. Enjoy your trip back to the forest. Uh -oh. What am I gonna do? Because of me, we all have to go back and live in the woods. We must find some way to win this race. Unless that GPS breaks down, I have no chance. Gotta confess, I am hopeless. <gasps> of course, that's it. We have to sabotage the GPS. Great idea, Wash. But that isn't enough. What about you? How are you going to find your way home? Oh, I know. Sam and I will lay a kibble trail back to the house. All Wash has to do is follow the kibble. <laughs> <laughs> what a klutz. Never leave a window open. Uh, what are you doing? I saw that on TV. Slip your paw through the car window and the door will spring open. Hmm. Say, <laughs> what does a GPS look like? Hello. What is your destination, please? Well done, Susie. Go on, sabotage it. <laughs> uh, okay. How? <laughs> Just look for a cable and pull on it. Have you done it? Have you sabotaged the PVS? You mean the GPS? That's what I said. Not yet. Right now, all we've done is get Susie tangled up in the glove box. In 800 yards, turn left. In 800 yards, turn left. In 808, in 800 yards, turn wow. left. Wow, well done, Susie. With you pulling the strings, there's absolutely no way the boss will find his way back. From the top of this hill, it takes exactly the same amount of time to get home by foot as it does by car. <laughs> My GPS knows all the shortcuts. It's not too late to give up before I humiliate you. Give up? Never. Very well. Count to, uh, let's say 1,000, then take off your blindfolds. May the best man win! One, uh, two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven 999, 1,000! Take it away, my beauty. Send us right back to where we came from. In 800 yards, turn left. So, where's the house? Well done, Washington. I knew I could count on your instincts. hungry along the way. Oh, no! Sam, what are we going to do? Without kibble, Wash will never find his way home. Why did you have to guzzle back the kibble? You already have a lot of food stashed in your costume. Yeah. I don't know 
know what you're talking about. Yes, you do, Sam. Your costume is always crammed with food. Let me see. <laughs> I can't wait to see Livingstone's silly loser face. This is gonna be fun. In 800 yards, turn left. Uh-huh, just what I thought. It's uh, not the way it looks. Perfect. Wash is sure to recognize his favorite dog candy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Sam. I get an idea. The rappers. will prove once and for all that Wash is a real dog. Uh-oh, there's something wrong. What? It's a wrapper from the dog candy. Sam! Yeah. Uh. That's strange. I've got this uncanny feeling of deja vu. In 800 yards, turn left. I'm sure I've already turned left here. In 800 yards, turn left. Oh, no, Wash, what have you done? We're right back where we started. Yeah? <laughs> so lost, are we? <laughs> I knew it. A dog could never beat my GPS. Got a technical hitch? I might be lost, but at least my dog knows how to turn right. I don't my understand what went wrong. Maybe GPS. a big greedy warthog passed by and ate our trail? <laughs> Okay, if we can't help Wash without being spotted, at least we can create a diversion. A diversion? I'll take care of that. It's the least I can do. <laughs> ah, a wild boar! What's got into you, Livingstone? <laughs> In 800 yards, turn left. The boys got talent. But how do we get out of this mess? I have no idea, but I need you to guide me back to the house. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Wash? It's about time. <laughs> what happened? Why are you all alone? <laughs> but it's me. <laughs> oh no, something's happened to my husband. <laughs> Here. Clear off, you beast! In 800 yards, turn oh. left. Thank you again for a magnificent day. The pleasure was all ours. And thank you again, honey. You really saved us. It's Washington who saved you. Ouch. <laughs> Gotta say, there's no way your GPS could have saved us from a wild hog. Uh, I must confess, I am deeply indebted to that dog of yours. This is one TV binge we definitely deserved. I will admit that just for once, you came through okay. If Susie hadn't taken control of the GPS, and if Sam hadn't ripped off his costume, I'd have been a goner. Sam, mm -hmm. where are Sam and Susie? <laughs> yeah, guys, where are you? Okay, I think it's dinner time. <laughs> In 800 yards, turn left. We're gonna win, we're gonna win, we're gonna win! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Meow 
more bark worth a hoot after all this time. How ridiculous is that? Greasy apple seed? See that, Wash? It's a present for us. Uh, no, wrong address. It's the house just next door. Oh, I'm sure there was a box full of kibble and Gracie will never share them with us. Uh, Sam, humans don't eat kibble. Humans maybe not, but kids do. They eat them for breakfast with milk. I saw it on TV. Sam, I'll bet you a whole roasted chicken that's not kibble. Ah. <laughs> you know what? It wasn't kibble. I didn't think that I just lost a roasted chicken. Boy, this day is off to a bad start. No, Sam. Now that Alfie and Gracie have a tablet, they're going to spend all their time on it, meaning they'll leave us alone. <laughs> Animal, hamster stupidicus. Health, good. Intelligence, very limited. Wow, did you see that, Alfie? With this hair test, I'm gonna be able to find out everything about all the animals in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, huh? Vincent isn't very sharp. Right, Wash? Wash? Come on, we'll do a test on fat cat. Where do you see a fat cat? That's you, Sam. Run! <laughs> Come here, kitty cat! Come here! Cats know how to climb trees, and I am a real cat! You are absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. If Gracie and Alfie run their test on us, our goose is cooked. Goose? You mean we'll get fried goose? <sighs> no, Sam. It's just an expression. We're the geese. That hair test will know that the hair from our costumes is fake, and Alfie and Gracie will unmask us. Oh, that's no fun. What are we going to do inside? The greatest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Sam! Hey, move, Sam! We can't see anything! Sorry, but I really, really have to go eat something. Hey, look! Now the screen is super clean! But I'm starving! absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. Unless, of course, it's in order to save a roasted chicken in distress. Ta-da! Welcome back, kitty. <laughs> Sam, check it out. It looks like Vic dressed as a granny. <laughs> Sam? Sammy? Oh. <laughs> Error, unknown species. Error, unknown Maybe species. Maybe it's a species that hasn't been discovered yet. You will be put in touch with a specialist. Please hold the line. <laughs> it's irresistible, isn't it? <laughs> Can you please come? We've discovered an unknown species of an animal thanks to our hair test. Why not a unicorn? Listen, I don't have time for childish behavior. 
I told you, teaming up with that toy company was a stupid idea. Wait a second. Unknown species. <laughs> Unknown species. Just think about it, Vladimir. This is a chance of a lifetime for you to win the Nobel Prize for Veterinarians. Oh, come now. You can't be serious, Velma. What if this species is dangerous? But just imagine a new species carrying your name. The Vladimirius Quadrupedus Rex. You'll be famous throughout the world. Go on, Vladimir. This is your chance to prove your genius. Maintain the specimen in captivity. I'm on my way. Sam's <laughs> been captured. The veterinarian is on his way to examine him. Ah, Sam's going to be sent back to the forest? Oh. Not if we work as a team. I've got an unbeatable plan. You stall the vet while I go ask a favor from Vic. Something she'll never be able to refuse. No. Oh, you're joking. Why? I thought that. No <laughs> means no. But, but I just need a few of your hairs to replace those of Sam's for the hair test to make the vet believe Sam's a real cat. Sorry, I just hate it when my hair gets pulled out. Forget it. Find yourself another plan. But I don't have another plan. Do you have any ideas? Quirky Jimmy, use your super jumping rabbit power. <laughs> Oh, Is that dog gone crazy or what? That's quite enough, Vladimir. Stop behaving like a child. You're being ridiculous. I assure you, Velma, this door has a bad case of the flu. Do you think the vet has given up? For sure. We're way too strong for him. Maybe he'll never ever dare to go outside again. Gracie, what do you do with an unknown animal species? Well, you put them on them, and then you open them up to see what they're made of inside. Hey, Sam, Vic told me that humans just can't resist a cat that purrs, and then the cat can do whatever it wants. Do you know how to purr? You're joking, I hope. That's my specialty. Purr! Purr! Huh? Two one-way signs? This city has gone completely mad. We did it! He stopped! You made it! Yeah! It may be one way the wrong way going forward, but not that way. <laughs> If the hair test recognizes your meow, you'll be identified as a cat. Meow! Meow! Unknown and aggressive <sighs> roar. Unidentified and dangerous species. Reinforced security required. <laughs> Victoria! 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 Do you know if Wash's unbeatable plan worked? Yes. <sighs> no. I said yes, meaning that yes, I know that Wash's unbeatable plan did not work. Did you seriously think huh? I was going to tear out my hair to make him happy? But then the veterinarian is going to realize that Sam is not a real cat. And he'll want to run the test on us, too. And we'll all be sent back to the forest. OK, all right, I'll help you. But there is no way you're pulling one single hair out of me, OK? Mm-hmm. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Coming! Don't worry, Sam. I'm gonna find a solution. All we have to do is, uh... Here, put this in the hair test. Vic, you... you... you pulled out your hair for Sam? Are you nuts? But that's the Livingstone's cat! It's not a cat! Look at the hair! Results. Unknown, unclassified species of feline, humanoid, lupus canny, reptili. Error, huh? error, error. Uh, uh. <sighs> Whose idea was to invent such a silly toy? Nothing compared to the expert opinion of an expert. Mm. Mm. 
my conclusion is definitive. This poor beast is nothing but an ordinary cat that you have traumatized. Oh, but don't worry, he'll get over it. This game really stinks. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Thank you, Vic. Being a cat myself, I know how difficult it must have been for you to tear out some of your hair for... I didn't tear out any hair. I got them out of the vacuum cleaner. But it seems there was a wide variety of hair in there. Not bad. Which just means that maybe you and I should collaborate more often, Vic. Only in your dreams, Wash. Error. Unknown species. Unknown species. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I always feel like an orphan when they go away, even when it's only for a few hours. Yeah, well, that we play hide and seek. Yay! Can I play? Say, can I play with you? Okay, but you get to count first. Mom, Dad. But who are you supposed to be, kid? It's me, Wash. Washington, your son. <laughs> it's true, it's me. Uh -huh. Wash, my little boy. What is that ridiculous disguise? You ashamed to be a fox or what? Uh, it's a... Uh... Wash, what are you... Hey, hi there. How's it going? Remember me? Sam, Sam the boar. <laughs> Here you go. We do the disguises because... Shh. If my folks find out we're living with humans, they'll be furious. They could drag us straight back to the forest, Sam. What's up? Have we stopped playing? Oh, they're so cute. What are your names, little cutie pie? Yes. Eugenie? Susie? What is it with your dressing up obsession, son? It's not an obsession, Dad. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's fancy dress. Oh, we love fancy dress parties. Isn't that right? <laughs> is it? I thought we were playing hide and seek. Say, you haven't seen where I live. Wait till you see my lair. Come on. There you go. Ta-da! Son. Where's the mud? Where's the pebbles? Dead leaves! Rotting wood! The utility room! Show them the utility room! It's dark, it's a total mess, and it stinks to high heaven of dirty socks! They'll love it! Hmm? Ah, that's better. So much more like a proper lair. And this is my bedroom. Not bad, huh? Where is your spring? I sure am thirsty. Don't tell me you don't have running spring water in your lair. I know, buddy. Call that a spring? It's a puddle! Look, the water isn't even flowing. Ta-da! Water on tap. See that, honey? Huh? It's a magic spring. Flows whenever you want. See? Those modern lairs aren't so bad after all. <laughs> Who are those two clowns? Wash's parents. And we're obviously not meant to let on that we're living with humans. Are you telling me you have house domestic uh, pets in your last son? Uh, no. Uh, it's, uh, I mean... Honestly, can't you see? It's his little sweetheart. Pleasure to meet you, miss. Uh, uh. There is no way I'm going to let anyone 
anyone think I'm your sweetheart, okay? You get rid of them this minute, or I'll tell them the real reason you're wearing that disguise. Vic, I beg of you, if you do that, they'll take me straight back to the forest, and I'll be the disgrace of the family. I want them to feel proud of me. If they do believe you're my sweetheart, half the battle is won. You're so beautiful, gracious, intelligent. Not wrong there. Okay, I'll play the game. But if you don't get rid of them fast, I'll take care of them myself. I'm <clears throat> warning you. I, I, I promise, Vic. Thank you. You won't regret this. Little wonderful, <clears throat> honey. Your dad's got a surprise for you. You won't regret this? That's what you said, wasn't it? You'll be so much happier like this. When it comes to comfort, there's nothing like a traditional lair. <laughs> oh dear, when the Livingstones see this, they're not going to be happy. <sighs> Relax, a quick lick of the brush and everything will be perfect when they get back. What happens if they get back early? No, they won't. My folks will be gone soon anyway. How's about a little chicken hunt? Just like the old days. What do you say, son? <laughs> Hey, uh, Dad, stop. Why go outside? I've got my own chicken coop right at home. Not bad, huh? That thing? A chicken coop? But where are the chickens? Inside. Just watch my hunting technique, Dad. <laughs> Go, Daddy-o! What is this abomination? Are you trying to poison me, son? Don't you have a proper chicken coop in the hood? Say, fresh meat! 2, uh, uh, Vic's got to show off her culinary talents. Vic, honey, can you come over here, please? <laughs> Do your little magic with this hamster. Sorry to say, my little queen bee hates people watching her cook. You'd be better off in the living room. As you wish, Washeroo. <laughs> Whew. Now run and hide. Get it? <laughs> Vic, you gotta help me. <laughs> What's that? Hamster on crude, Vic style. Translation, please. Two kibbles, two leaves, and my special ingredient inside. Vic, you are amazing. I know, but never, ever call me my little queen bee again, little washeroo. <laughs> Hamster on crude, Vic style. I'm sure it's much better than it looks. Yuck! It's worse than it looks. This is disgusting. You want to get rid of us, son, is that it? Trying to tell us we're not welcome? No, I mean, uh, yeah, it's but... It's okay, son, we get it. We're on our way. Yeah, well played, Vic. How did you do that? <laughs> well, it only takes one little drop of cat pee to make even the best food totally inedible. But it is a trick I only pull in absolute emergencies, and the Livingstones will be home soon. Dad, I'm sorry, it's modern cuisine. You're not gonna leave just like that. Give me one good reason to stay, son. Just one! <laughs> yeah, I know, TV! What? 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 TV! That thing there, it's the best reason in the world to stay. Huh? But that's Elmo and Sandra! How did they get inside there? Elmo, Sandra? There must be a door somewhere. <laughs> no, it's just a box full of pictures. We even get to change the pictures using this special... Magic box! Stop! Stop humans! Quickly, we've got to get out of this lair. There's not a second to lose. Stop! Don't panic. The humans are trapped. They're inside the box. They can't get out. Are you sure? Dr. Alessandro, we have to operate on Michael as fast as we can. I think I broke his heart. <laughs> Humans are totally wacko. See that, honey? Oh. <laughs>
Thank you, Sam. Thanks to you, my folks will leave here proud of me. Well, what do we do if they react like Sam the first time they ever watched TV? Oh, my brilliant is finished yet! Don't panic. If I remember correctly, we turned up at the end of the episode. That means we still have a small chance of getting rid of them before the Living Stones get back. <laughs> <laughs> Come to my arms, my boy. I am proud of you, son. I must admit that to begin with, you gave me a scare. I even wondered if you weren't living with humans. <laughs> but this little box with humans hidden inside, that's brilliant. Congratulations, come son. On, let's go. And be sure to come see us in the forest with your friends. Oh. <laughs> Too late. We're done for. I don't believe it. How wonderful! Honey, have you seen this? Amazing! How did they ever guess it was the annual Woodland Festival? They've given the <laughs> whole living room a makeover! Look! There's even real mud! <laughs> ah, it's the Hendersons! What incredible fox costumes you're wearing! They look so real! Make yourselves comfortable, my friends! The party is just about to begin! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mr. and Mrs. Henderson, you changed your costumes? It must be said, though, your fox costumes were very fetching. So that was it, your little secret? You disguise yourself to live with humans like some dumb poodle? I'm happy here, Dad. They adore me. I know it's not what you wanted for me, but... It doesn't matter, son. It's been so lovely to see where you really live, Wash. <laughs> it's not how I'd have wanted you to turn out, but if you're happy here, to me, you'll always be my little wild fox cub. Mwah. <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. There we go. Flea treatment complete. You've all been very good. Well done. But where on earth is Victoria? That's weird. She was here two minutes ago. Seeing how she hates that flea product, she must be long gone. It's like she has some sixth sense that tells her when to leave at treatment time. We're gonna have to find her. This year, the fleas are back with a vengeance. Hmm. Hey there, there you are. Yeah, we've been looking everywhere for you. Stop it! Shut up, Sam! Keep your snout out of it! Oh. Darling, look! Fix up there! Get down from there right this minute! Party, party, party! Yeah! <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> uh, what's up with this? Can't you see? She's dancing! Cool dance routine! Ow. I reckon she's being bitten alive by fleas! There you go, Vic. You should have played the game and taken your treatment just like everybody else. You're a fine one to speak out! Your costumes protect you from the side effects of that ghastly stuff! Ouch! And they protect you from fleas! Stop! Whoa, well, there you are, Vic. Hmm? 
This time, you're going nowhere. I know it smells bad and it makes your head hurt, but at least the fleas are going to leave you alone. Get the shelter! Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. Who's up for a game of forest ball? Yeah! yeah! Count me out this time. Go long, Sam! <laughs> Enjoying themselves as much on the other double fur animals. We have a problem. Whatever you do, do not scratch in front of them. Otherwise, zip. We'll be up in front of the vet in no time. What if the vet examines us and discovers we're wild animals? I don't want to go back to the forest. There we go. We're off for a weekend in the wild. Be good, little angels. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Oh, what did I do with my sunglasses? Oh, here they are. <laughs> All right, honey, I got the road map. And the tortoise. Tough, tough, silly of me. Uh, huh. What's happened to them? Do you reckon they have fleas? Hmm, but the treatment works perfectly. Victoria's fine. I'll call up the vet anyway. I'll make an appointment for tomorrow morning when we get back. What a nightmare! <laughs> we cannot let that vet examine us. We have to come up with some solution to get rid of these fleas. No, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> yeah. That feels so good. Good idea, Sam. Everywhere. That's what we're gonna find out. <laughs> Woohoo! What an awesome party! Yeah, whoever organized this is a genius. Yes. Does it work? Right. We're gonna have to find some other idea. <laughs> Well, what a cute little dance routine you got there. This is not the time, Vic. If we don't ditch these fleas before the Livingstones get back, we're done for. Yep, yeah, Vic, what can we do to get rid of them? <laughs> to do that, you'll have to find them a better place to live. Like a mansion with a mud jacuzzi? No, another animal. But don't worry, there must be hundreds of untreated pets around here. Hey, Vic, you're a genius. <sighs> but why do I have to do this first? That's the way it is. We drew lots. Trust me on this. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> hmm? What's up, Sam? Lost your way to your comfy Sophie? Hey, thing. Hey, I was looking for you with my buddies. We just wanted to say that... That what? That you're an awesome neighbor and we all wanted to give you a big hug to say thanks. Huh? <laughs> yeah, what's that smell? Wait, I'll go see. I don't know what it is. It 
looks like a trash can with fur. Nothing compared to our double fur penthouse suite here. What's wrong with you? I mean, what have those guys been putting in your food lately? To think I'm the one everyone calls wild around here. They're really clinging on. I don't think we have many options left. Who needs the vet? We get our hands on the flea treatment and blam! A quick dose on our real fur and problem solved. You ready? Careful, Sam. I don't believe it. What kind of vet is this guy? There's everything but meds here. Medical suite, 59 pounds or 13 ounces. Oh, no, Sam! 59 pounds and 13 ounces? That's impossible, Wash. The guy inside that thing is lying. Uh, the animals! Shh. Calm down. Did you hear that? Sounds like there are thousands of animals out there. All with nice warm fur. We're right. And it sure smells good. Maybe it's time to throw the party of the century. Yay! Thanks. You can sleep easy now. Come on, let's go look for our treatment. Dang it. Dang it. Noise. You heard it, right? <laughs> It's the vet! Quick, let's get out of here! What about the flea treatment? I'd much rather live in a cold forest with fleas than get caught hanging around here. Let's go! Oh, what are the... Do something! Look at them, Vladimir! I shall never forget you, you little marvel of technology, you. What are you doing? Farewell, Sofa! Farewell, TV! Farewell, lovely home! Thank you for all the good times you had! We're home! We came as quickly as we could. Oh, poor little honeys. Looks like they're at their wits' end. The vet will be here any minute. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone, good day. So, where are the patients? I can't take it anymore. It has to stop. This torture has to end. What torture? You stopped scratching. Yeah, you're right. But that means the fleas must have gone. At last, someone with a brain cell. But how come I didn't notice? I have good news and bad news. The bad news is my clinic suffered a flea invasion last night and I don't have the usual product in stock. Yeah. <laughs> but the good news is we get to try out a totally new treatment that's even more powerful. <laughs> Uh, right. The only complicated thing about this product is that it has to be swallowed. Awesome! It's breakfast time! I say, your animals sure are cooperative. Hang on, where's the upper cat? <laughs> Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. It's a good thing we got away with it this time. I hate swallowing tablets! Hey, I wonder what did happen to our fleas? Hey, it's you, Happy. How's it going, buddy? Cool place here, huh? Huh? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Really, really huge! 
Yeah, I may have been going a bit heavy on the portions lately. <laughs> <laughs> I hear the call of the kibble! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what is that huge thing? A kibble! It's all stuck inside! Give me back my kibble! Right, let's just calm down and tranquilly analyze the situation. Do you think you'll come out? Three crummy kibbles? <laughs> Looks like our brand new super kibble dispenser has them intrigued. With a diet like this, they'll slim down in no time. Let's let them savor their breakfast. What? That's it? They can't do that to us! Calm down, Sam. We may as well help ourselves to the supply stock. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Huh? They're all locked? We're off to work. See you this evening. What? Five hours and 54 minutes? Oh, no. We have to wait five hours and 54 minutes before dinner. Uh, we'll never get it open. We're goners. And these silly costumes, which are too tight. Well, since we got no food, with Flying Pizza Delivery, your dreams become reality. Order your XXL pizza now by just punching the OK button on your remote control. Two each. <laughs> your order has been confirmed. Flying Pizza at your <laughs> service. <laughs> <laughs> Wild animals! <laughs> uh, the delivery guy. Phew! He's breathing. He's just unconscious. So we've got to get rid of him immediately. Besides, he saw us without our costumes. Coast is clear. Whoa, hang on. What's that noise in his trunk? Have you received your delivery? Push one to confirm. You have not confirmed. Flying Pizza will send an emergency team in nine, eight, seven. Oh no, no, they're on their way. Five, We're goners. Three, two. Phew. Congratulations. You have been given a new delivery. It awaits you at the Flying Pizza Dispatch. Push one to confirm. <laughs> your next delivery has been confirmed. The Flying Pizza Dispatch Center awaits your arrival. Bingo! Right, we've got no choice then. No way can Flying Pizza find out. Yeah, if their emergency team shows up, they're gonna find their delivery boy out cold. And what's more, discover our real identities. Remember, he saw us without our costumes. Straight ahead, and then you take the next right. He's still asleep. That's a good sign. A hairpin turn? You said it was straight ahead. What's going on with you? You're late, and you took long enough to confirm at the last delivery. Do you think it's gonna work? You're not a very talkative. Now listen up, kiddo. No more being late. You do your job fast, and you do it well. Capiche? 
Otherwise, I send in the emergency team, and believe me, you don't want to see those guys unless you want to wind up as a topping on the next pizza. <laughs> Whoa, this job sure isn't easy. Yum, pizza toppings. Right. I take your silence as a yes. Mm. New order in process of being delivered. Mozzarella, anchovies, capers, mushrooms, olives. Sam, watch, quick! We're running super late! Hey, where is Sam? What do you want, you filthy mutt, you? Hey, come back, will you? Give me back my pizza doll! Sam, no! <laughs> Get over this bridge! Come on, let's go! We're gonna make it! Oh no! The bridge is rising! We gotta make it across! Otherwise, we'll never make it in time! I can't watch! That's great. So we deliver the pizza, and that's that. Right on time. What is that? It looks like the house of the... Veterinarian! What in the world is my special flying pizza with extra pepperoni and sausage and oyster toppings going to get here? I'm not going in. Me neither. Come on, a bit of courage, guys. A man who likes pizza can't be all that bad. And besides, we've got no choice. Otherwise, the emergency team turns us into toppings. Come on, let's go. Ah! So, late again. If they're not here in 30 seconds, I'm calling the Flyer Pizza's emergency hotline. Quick! We gotta deliver the pizza! We can't let him make that call! to you, young man. Hmm. Lackluster fur. Snout is dry. Hmm. You lack vitality, energy. You need to get out more, old boy. Get some exercise. Do you like playing with rubber balls? Right. So what you need is a pick-me-up. I'm also prescribing you three days sick leave. Your job is exhausting. And here's a tip. You're lucky, you know. Two more seconds and I was going to call the emergency hotline. Uh, 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 thank you. But where did all the wild animals go? Wild animals? The medicine must be kicking in already. <laughs> Flying Pizza has another order for you. Push one to confirm. You kept the watch? Well, what? I think it's pretty. Are you crazy or what? Do you want to wind up as pepperoni topping? <laughs> so what are we going to do now? We are going home. Home? But how? It's far. Oh, I don't know. Try walking. It's incredible!
people. Crazy. You all look like you're in tip-top shape. <laughs> it even looks like their muscles are toned up. And they look so healthy, don't they? Yes, as if they had been exercising outside in the fresh air all day. Well, well, I had my doubts about that kibble dispenser, but I can tell you we're certainly keeping it now. <laughs> oh, no! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. to go to Bee Bop Bunny for a free beauty kit. Pretty obvious, no? Sorry, we're super busy. We're onto something absolutely awesome here. Racing at top speed, the black slug can cover more than two centimeters an hour. We wanna go! We wanna go! We wanna go! Sure, promise. Tomorrow. No! <laughs> Today! Uh -huh. uh, mm -mm. Uh, what's that? Hmm. Da! It's a bunny mobile! A self driving car to go to the Bebop Bunny Baron! A state of the art self driving car? Uh, Wash, we're actually kind of busy, huh? And besides, must I remind you that cars are reserved for humans only? Come on, cool it, Sam. I just want to have a look. I wasn't going to drive it. <sighs> Relax. The living stones are gone for the day, and when we get back, the race will only be half over. Sorry, if I say yes, then I'll lose all credibility around here. So the answer's no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, all right. I can't see anything through this tinted glass. Welcome aboard the Bunny Mobile. Passengers, please get in. Wow! It's so beautiful! During your trip, enjoy all the comfort of the Bunny Mobile. Automatic pilot with GPS, speed regulator, soft drink dispenser, and free call at 011 989 7253 in case of emergency. Destination, Bebop Bunny. Bunny! Yay! 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 Bush, stop the car! No! We're gonna get caught! Oh, come on, Sam. Don't worry. The windows are tinted, so there's no risk. Uh oh. Are you sure we're okay? I get this feeling we've been spotted. <laughs> Yeah. Emergency on the corner of Lafayette and Washington. There's an alligator in a tree. You see? I told you we had nothing to fear. In order to access your relaxation options, punch in the bunny button. Option one, massage. Option two, music. Option three, carrot juice. 
Oh, gosh, this is too awesome. Do you think they also make kitty mobiles? When are we gonna get there? We're not even moving. But we are moving. It's just that the technology in these cars is so sophisticated that you don't even notice you're driving when in fact you're actually speeding down the road. Mm. Oh, because like right now we're speeding, huh? Are, are we, we there, there yet? yet? Hurry up! This is taking so long. All right already, girls. I'll speed up. All you had to do was ask. Newsflash, the Money Store Fair is a whopping success and their beauty kits are going like hotcakes. Hurry up if you want to get your hands on one. They won't last long. Oh, no! My beauty kit! Wash! Hurry up! Please, please, please! Please, 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 please! Okay, okay, everything's under control. Don't panic. Situation's under control. Turn this thing off! An alligator in a tree? What'll they come up with next? Uh-oh, the animal pound! Yeah, well, with the tinted glass windows, we're cool. Oh, yeah? And you think that works when they're open, too? Acceleration activated. Let's go. Forget the alligator. Uh, kid, this is your chance. We're counting on you. Ah, uh, they're not following us anymore. Well, of course not. They're the animal pound, not the police. You have reached your final destination. We'll wait for you in the car, girls. Don't take too long, okay? <laughs> what did I say, huh? It was all just child's play. Yeah. <laughs> pound! Start! Error. You have reached your final destination. Activate bunny control to enter a new destination. Oh, Automatic remote God. control deactivated. Manual drive is activated. <laughs> The Super Duper Tunnel Slide has just opened! Come and get your fill of bunny thrills! Shall we go? It looks awesome! Do you think we've got time? Sam said we should hurry up. Yeah, all right. He's probably getting a massage in the bunny mobile right now. I bet he's in seventh heaven. Oh, wash! Speed up! They're right behind us! Gone. We're safe! Yeah, mm. oh, Wash, you can slow down. They're gone! I'd like to, except I get the feeling that the accelerator's like uh, stuck! <laughs> uh, Sam, don't touch anything. This is no time to slow down. <laughs> Number. I think now's the time! Oh, yeah, good idea! But, uh, what was the number again? Yeah, you have to 999881999. Is it a one or a nine? Do you think Sam and Wash are going to jail? Oh, but the close oh. call. I really like his daredevil style. He's totally oh. fearless. Reminds me of the blind bird Joe. That's my buddy Washington driving the bunny mobile. Think you could help him ditch the guys following them? An awesome driver like him? Well, that would be an honor. Flight formation! <laughs> Open fire! Sure. 
happy of assistance, do you? Hey, it works! Uh, can you tell me why we're calling them again? Drop it! Everything's cool, I ditched them! Oh! Oh no! I just realized! How are we going to get to the girls? Battery dead. Please recharge battery. I repeat, please re Did you just touch something? Charge battery. Do you know where we are, Sam? No idea. Even when I was little, I couldn't find my way home from one mud puddle to the next. So just imagine here. Are you serious? <laughs> you don't even know where you are. Our house is right over there. You two teeny. Susie. Of course we knew where we were. We were just waiting for you. So, shall we go home? Yeah. We're filthy. If the Livingstones see us like this, they're going to want to give us a bath and then they'll see our costumes and... We knew we should have stayed in front of the TV. Drat, you're right. Hey! How did you do it? What? Get clean? Check it out! Big Bop Bunny All-Purpose Cleaner! <laughs> wow! That works! Awesome! Thank you, girls! <laughs> you see, Sam, I told you we'd be back in time for the end of the race. Yeah, but now that we missed everything in the middle, I can't figure out what's going on. Uh, your snail race totally stinks. Bebop Bunny's way better. Hey, darlings, we've got a surprise for you. We're taking you to the Bebop Bunny Fair. Yay! <laughs> you agree? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everybody, it's time for Singing, singing in, in the, the Shower, shower. The, the show that gets, gets your morning rocking. And with no further ado, <laughs> let's welcome Josephine, who's going to sing her latest hit live from her bathroom. <laughs> Wouldn't drain all your brain cells to let some of us sleep? When you don't know how to sing, you keep quiet, okay? <laughs> First of all, we know how to sing. That's what you think. I happen to have perfect ears, and I can tell you that you guys sing like a bunch of elephants. Huh? What's so special about your ear? My ear is perfect. That means I know when you're singing on key or off, and you guys are off. Way, way, way off. And too loud, so... Hey, cut it out, Vic. They're allowed to have fun. Sure, in total silence. Keep it up, girls, and pretty soon it's you who will be on TV. <laughs> Sorry? It means good morning in Dolphin. Ah, your new learn while you sleep method. Is it really working? Like a charm, as you can see. Thank you, Washington. Good dog. <laughs> oh, honey, look at this. Why don't we sign Susie up? Yay, 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 girls, yay. girls, stop! Susie, the Living Stones want to sign you up for a singing canary contest. <laughs> Are you nuts? Susie, if you sing, the Living Stones will find out that you're not a real canary, which means a one-way ticket back to the forest! Huh? Why wouldn't I be able to sing like a canary, huh? Uh, because you're a blackbird? Susie, <laughs> what would you say to a little musical rehearsal, huh? I'd like to find out if you're good enough to enter a contest. I'm going to play you a little number on the flute, and then I want you to repeat it as faithfully as possible. Your turn, Susie. Oh, what is this horror show? What in the world 
is the circus. Mr. Livingstone is quickly understanding that Susie doesn't sing like a canary. So, in two minutes tops, we'll all be found out and sent packing into the forest. Any other questions? What singing? What a voice! Why, Susie, that's marvelous! And it's not like I'm surrounded by a bunch of winners, either. In Dolphin, breakfast is called. <laughs> Honey, can I borrow your tablet? Susie turns out to be a diva of a singer. It would be a shame not to enter her in the contest. But of course, honey. I always knew Susie was talented. <laughs> mm. What do you think Vic meant when she said she wasn't surrounded by a bunch of winners? Nothing. That's just Vic. You know how she is. What's important is that Mr. Livingstone is persuaded now that Susie is a real canary, and we can hang out and tranquilly watch TV. Before our live broadcast of the world-famous canary singing contest, we've got an exclusive interview of the president of the jury who has kindly opened his home to us. How about a word of advice to all the canaries watching us who have entered tomorrow's contest? Well, practice like your life depended on it. And don't cheat. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. And every bird that's ever... We've got to find a way to stop your taking part in this contest, Susie. It's way too risky. But I want to enter the contest! Susie, Mr. Snobby Nose is not like Mr. Livingstone. He's an expert. He'll find out right from the first note that you're not a real canary. You don't understand. When I was little, everyone made fun of me. In fact, I'm gonna be your personal trainer. Sam, that's super nice of you, but I'm not sure that a wild boar cat is the best person to teach a blackbird how to sing like a canary. I've got a better idea. By listening to a canary while you're asleep, your subconscious will learn how to sing. And tomorrow for the contest, you'll be brilliant. Just like Mrs. Livingstone and her dolphins. Honey, you wouldn't have seen my headphones and tablet by any chance? And, uh, a canary? No! That's a lion! I can't believe it, Wash! Please don't tell me you forgot to put that canary video on repeat play! Yeah, uh, uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know. Why? Because there were other videos streaming after that! And so Susie has memorized every single animal sound except the one we're interested in! Way to go, Mr. Brain Surgeon. Oh, hey, no problem. All we have to do is put the canary video back on. <laughs> oh, no. I don't believe it. Don't worry, Wash. Maybe we could just go to Mr. Snobby Nose. Oh, yeah, of course. So we can tell him to his face that Susie's not a real canary, give him our costumes, and then head back to the forest? Got any other brilliant ideas, Sam? Uh, no, I can't think of any other solution for listening to canary singing. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. Of course! Sam, you're Susie, where are you? Time to go! Lend me your costume, Susie. I've got an idea that will help us stall for time. Well, well, Susie. You seem to be in fine shape for the contest. In fact, it looks like you've put on some weight. I just hope you still fit into your cage. <laughs> go on, hop in. Oh, Susie, it's no time to play. It's time to Coast go! Coast is clear. Get back here! <laughs> Susie! Ouch! Come on, Alvarez, hurry up! Even though the contest won't start without us, that's no reason to show up late. <laughs> All right, Susie, you're on. A half a tone higher, Susie. There. Perfect. Come, come now. No reason to get stage fright like that, Susie. Everything's going to be just fine. Honey, I'm leaving. Good luck. Yay, where's your genie? Even with a canary costume, she couldn't have flown away, could she? Oh, no, your genie. <laughs>
and welcome to the International Canary Singing Contest. How about a big round of applause for Hubert, our first contestant? What? I'll cut off my left ear if that bird is a canary. He's a robin at best. And our first contestant has been disqualified after only two and 57 one hundredth of a second. Our jury president has wasted no time in letting us know that he will be inflexible when it comes to cheating. We're goners! You genie doesn't stand a chance! And now for our second contestant, Myrtle! What a joke! That song was pre-recorded! Incredible! Myrtle has just been disqualified! Will Susie, our third canary, have more luck than our first two contestants? I can't watch this. Susie, begin! The jury is getting impatient! So cool, isn't it? If she doesn't win the contest with that... I can tell you that's no canary, but... What in the world is this bizarre specimen? Fly away, Eugene, uh -huh. quick! He's going to discover your disguise! Very impressive. This majestic winged creature appears to be a distant cousin of the Sumatra Tam Tam bird. Good heavens, honey! Why the long face? What happened? Susie's not a real canary. She's an exotic bird. A distant cousin of the Chickatoomy Tam Tam bird, or something like that. And it's strictly forbidden to keep such exotic birds in captivity. Honey, do you realize that all this time we've been breaking the law? Shouldn't you call the vet just to be 100% sure about this? Susie, go sing into the phone to make the vet think that you're a real canary. It's our only chance! Susie's not a real canary? What in the world is this all about? Well, that's what Mr. Snobby knows, the jury president said, and... Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be! Susie just asked you if the coffee's ready in Dolphin! Can you believe that? I don't know what kind of nonsense is going on in your house, but allow me to say without the hint of a doubt that if that is indeed Susie singing, she is 100% canary. And now, if you will excuse me, I am very busy. Right, now where was I? Well, there you go, honey. Mr. Snobby Nose was mistaken. It's, um, uh, human, you know? <laughs> Not bad, huh? I have to agree, they're pretty good. And it's all thanks to me. Well, you should have brought that canary instead. He would have won the contest. He's singing the Trombado Canary Fugue in C major to perfection. I swear it's the same canary. But I just don't understand. He started singing like my rabbit. Must have been stage fright or something. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. How we doing, girls? Still eight minutes and 15 seconds. 14, 13, 12, 11. Yeah, yeah, okay, thanks, we get it. It's just taking so long. You, lots of action. It's a spence. Yeah, right, there's no mystery here. They're just doing spring cleaning. Except it's summer. Our 
dear owners have simply lost something. They destroy everything in the house whenever something goes missing. They are the wild ones. The last time it was our car keys. Another time it was a tennis racket. The worst of all was the soda bottle opener. They went out of their minds. My beautiful wedding ring. What did I tell you? It's so, so precious to me. And besides, it was my grandmother's. <laughs> I just don't understand. Whenever I'm not wearing it, I always put it there. Okay, let's attack the rest of the house. You want me to use the sledgehammer this time or the wallpaper remover? Ah, the sledgehammer! I was just thinking, what if one of our darling animals swallowed it by mistake? Well, listen, if we don't turn up anything in the house, then we'll go straight to the vet for the x-rays. Did you hear what they said? Yes, they're finally gone. We've got the TV on to ourselves! <laughs> okay, guys, let's all be totally honest about this. Did one of you swallow that ring? Victoria. Mm. Oh, please. If I had swallowed it, I would have spit it out immediately. And believe me, I can tell the difference between a hairball and a ring. Eugenie? Impossible. My metabolism would never allow me to digest gold that is not 100% 24 carat. I admit it. I tried to once, but it got stuck in my beak. Who says it wasn't you, Washington? After all, it's easy to accuse others. Who swallowed the ring? Not to mention the remote control. No! We've got to find a solution before the Living Stones return. Yeah, what you really have to do is find a way to get the remote control before my soap begins. Otherwise, it's me who's going to be sending you back to the forest. The cake is ready! Magnificent. Right, we're going to have to wait until it's cooled down. Listen, I've given it some thought. We'll look in the yard, but if we don't find it there, we're going to the vets. A simple x-ray and we'll know if it's in one of their stomachs. It's a catastrophe. What's an x-ray, Wash? It's a thing that allows you to see everywhere, see through everything, and guess what they're gonna see in us? Hmm? Mm. <laughs> okay, little hint. It's made of metal and it goes up and down. In the elevator? Hmm. Oh, our zippers! Yes! Faster! Up, faster! Up, down, up, down! Come on! Spit! Are you gonna spit out that ring or what? Hmm. <gasps> Watch out! She's looking this way! <laughs> We're gonna have to find another way. <laughs> so, Sam, is it coming or what? Did you get the ring, did ya? Look, my favorite toy. It's amazing. I was sure it was lost forever. <gasps> Hit, Hit, expel. 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 You got the ring! Uh, no. On the other hand, Susie knows exactly where the remote control is. <laughs> Yippee! I'm going to be able to watch my soap now. I still don't think you get it. If we don't find that ring right this second, we're all goners! Hey there, gang. What do you say to a little outing right about now? <laughs> I hate you all. X-rays, zippers, we may as well head straight for the forest right now, guys. No, I haven't said my last word yet. But I hope your stomach is up to this, Sam. Everything okay in there, Susie? Affirmative, Washington, but it's totally pitch black in here. Good luck, little one. Huh? Wow! Did you find the ring? No! It's not gonna be easy. You wouldn't believe the junkyard in Sam's stomach. You uh, will what? Awesome. Huh? Oh, that's so beautiful. 
where is that music coming from? Did you just turn the radio on, honey? Mm -mm. Susie, this is no time to play piano. The ring. All right. Oops. I'll continue looking. <laughs> We're here, Susie. Quick, hurry up. Well, it's make or break now, guys. Uh, you're here for x-rays? Uh, but that, uh, uh, that's not possible. Uh, you have to make an appointment at least 48 hours in advance and put them on a very specific diet. What in the world are you talking about, Vladimir? Shh. You know very well that I hate the x-ray machine. It scares me. And besides, I am, uh, extremely busy. There is no way I can see so many patients right now. In fact, I'm full up. But... There's nobody but us here. I must absolutely get my ring back! My precious <laughs> ring! Do you understand? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, uh, very well then. Uh, no problem. <laughs> what I should do is go verify the instructions manual. Oh, uh, what I mean is, uh, Velma, will you please fill out the four admissions forms? Four? One, two, three, four, and... But... But Susie, she's missing. Oh. Can we leave them with you? We have uh -huh. to go back and get Susie, our canary. Come on, Vladimir. Uh. Let's go set up the x-ray machine. Uh. Ugh. And now we have to get x-rayed? You guys sure have given me the royal treatment. <laughs> uh -huh. So? Nothing. It would take a lifetime to sort out everything in Sam's stomach. Yeah. Hey, no one has ever complained about my internal disorder before. And it was already pretty nice of me to let you go rummaging around. Yeah, sorry, Sam, it's true. But you really do eat a lot. You're right. And it's pretty easy to swallow a ring. Anybody could, especially without even knowing it. Ah, great. Right. So, uh, I guess I'll be getting back to the mines. Yeah. My little Susie, perfect. I'll just call your owners and let them know while the vet runs you through the x-ray machine. Hi. You are going to climb up there and stand behind the screen while I take your x-rays. And we will immediately be able to see everything you are hiding. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Velma? <laughs> Which button is it again that uh, turns on the machine? The big red button. And the light regulator? Well, you have to place the cursor on zero to turn it on. And then you increase the brightness little by little while turning the little knob on the left in order to sharpen the contrast. Vic, quick, mm -hmm. distract the vet. That way, we'll be able to quickly take off our costumes and we'll put them back on when we step out of the machine. And what's in it for me? Our kibble for the whole week? The pillow next to the radiator? Massages? You get to watch your favorite series on TV every single day. It's a deal. Hmm, weird. Velma? Now! Come on now, Vladimir. I've already shown you a thousand times. There, it's ready. Hmm, no sign of a ring. On the other hand, I'm going to have to prescribe a serious cure for the fat cat so we can get rid of all that junk. Hmm, what do you mean, fat? Way to go, Vladimir. Excellent analysis. I'm very proud of you. Come on now. Quit pretending to be shy. Come out from behind there. So? Uh, did you find my ring? She's back! No sign of a ring. Too bad. Here. I wanted to apologize for having lost my cool earlier, so I baked you a cake. My cake! Huh? Oh, how sweet of you. Uh, <laughs> wow! Your ring was there in the cake all along. Perfect. Now, 
Do you mind turning up the volume, Susie? Veronica, I have a confession to make. I love you. <sighs> Dr. Alessandro, why, I love you too. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Confession to make. I love you. <laughs> it's my favorite soap opera. Hey, you're not the only one here, and majority rules. Oh, it's always the same with you guys. And I'm already 138 episodes behind. 100% magnetic, totally invisible. The brand new magnetic zipper. The future is now. Zip, 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 zipper. Huh? Invisible? That's what we need! With those zippers, no one will ever know we're wearing costumes! <laughs> My friends, welcome to the end of all our worries! <laughs> Whoa! Silly! What do we do with their old costumes? Toss them into the dumpster, cuz the future is now! Super invisible! I even feel like this is my real fur! You? Mm -hmm. I can't get this unstuck! <laughs> the magnetic field created by the zippers is way too powerful! Uh -oh. Quick! Everyone outside! <laughs> Just in time. This is worse than super glue. If this continues, the neighbors are going to get suspicious. Magnetic zippers look pretty cool on TV, but in reality, they're just a bit... Too magnetic? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, no use crying over zippers. Come on, let's go home. We'll put our old costumes back on. But Wash, our old costumes got thrown in the dumpster. Uh-oh. Washington, Sam, give me that chicken right this second! This is bad, it's not chicken. <laughs> but, but what in the. That's us! 
<laughs> but, but how can we both be over there and in here at the same time? And with fried chicken? Yeah. Me? Me? Hey there, bros. You gotta let me some. <laughs> Those voices, they ring a bell. <laughs> <laughs> it's the raccoon gang! They took our costumes so they could pretend to be us. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Give us back our costumes, you bunch of imposters. Imposters? <laughs> who are you kidding? Isn't it you who spends your time pretending to be household pets? Yeah, well, uh, still, those are our costumes, huh? And besides, I'm not a dodo bird! Give me that! There has to be four of us, otherwise those two humans are gonna catch on! Makes you look fat! Go on, get lost! Go back to your forest, you losers! These are our costumes now, and that is our life! <laughs> we put into becoming perfect pets has just gone up in smoke. This time we're gunners. It's back to the forest. <laughs> no, no way are we gonna let them take over our lives. Yeah? They're gonna find out what we're really made of. Yeah, we're gonna show them I'm not a dodo bird. This time you've gone too far, raccoon. Hey guys, I think these bozos didn't quite Catch our drift. Yeah? Ah, you didn't hear what we said, is that it? Go, Go home! home! Huh? Our beloved little pets, they're being attacked by wild animals! Huh? Yeah! Huh? Go back to the forest, you nasty beasts! <laughs> <laughs> So, strong arm tactics don't work. We're gonna have to use cunning. Use what? Uh, our intelligence. Okay, so I've got an idea. We'll need Victoria. Are things better now, darlings? We're gonna let you get some rest now. Poor guys. I bet we really did scare them. <sighs> Seriously, think we're gonna let you choose channels? Not us in the house. Well, then who is it? The raccoons! They stole our costumes! You've got to help us! Well, I'll be. I hadn't even noticed. And how is this my problem? Oh, even Victoria can't tell the difference between me and a dodo bird. Listen, Vic, I got a plan. And if you can help us, you can take control of the remote. Mm -hmm. I'm all ears. Hey, guys, you hadn't noticed? It's time. Time for what? Uh, bath time? Have you forgotten? It's the humans who wash us. The pets. <laughs> what? Come on, be brave, my friends. It'll be over quickly, and you'll see. My plan is going to work. <laughs> Once 
what's more, the living stones are real sticklers for hygiene. When you put up resistance, they pull out the bath robot enforcer. <laughs> it's time, darlings! <laughs> oh, for dinner! What in the world has gotten into them? Confession to make. I love you. Duh. 